Maybe I should start recording. Don't worry to everyone that watching this as a VOD later, you didn't miss anything. Hi, Gail. So all it took to get Mistress' attention was to learn how to reforge an artifact that once destroyed her. It's obvious when you stop to think about it. Uh, what do you think she wants to say? She's scared of you. You're one step closer to being able to challenge her. Uh, how could you possibly know we read a book? Hasn't she got more important things to worry about? And are you sure you want to go to her? She might want to punish you. The weave is a highly sensitive magical network threaded through all life on this plane. Any shift in magical energy, no matter how small, is akin to a beacon alerting Mistra to its cause. Opening a book like the Annals of Carsus was akin to us shooting a firework spelling look at us Mistra directly into the skies of Elysium. She knows. This is a conversation that's long overdue on both sides. I owe it to her to hear her out. Come what may afterwards. How much of the wizard's tower was explored? I mean like there's a new wizard in charge now. If that's uh, if that's the uh, the what you're looking for now, I've I've got the the Karsis tome. I've got the tome that unlocked the powers of the that that Necronomicon book that I had. Uh, I agree. It's time we headed for the Stormshore Tabernacle. After you. Under the battle area, there's more stuff. What do you mean under the wait under uh, like as in like. If I go to the top floor and then like there's like stairs that go under it. Uh oh, Mizora's got something to say. Always good. I've had my eye on you. Uh-oh. Hot as brimstone, jagged as lightning, and seething like the river Styx. But there's something missing, isn't there? You're hungry for pleasures beyond this plane. Something more satisfying than mortal flesh, blood, and bone. I'm quite content, actually. Whatever you're offering, I'm not. Uh, I'm not interested. I, I want. I, I want to play coy. I have no idea what you're on about. I'm talking of the mundanity of a life ignorant to the thrills of the nine hells. Yes, you're curious. Your eyes are lit like raging stars. You want what only I can give you. The ecstasy of agony. The pain of the damned distilled into pure bliss. Beyond every climax you've known. The little death writ large. Smile and I'll come to you when you put your head down to rest. I will sate your most forbidden lusts. Or don't, and know the eternal ache of the unknown and the unanswered. I'm good. Absolutely not. Dear me, I've overestimated you. Trust me, I shan't be making that mistake again. Ta-ta. I thought she was going to vanish. Scratch! What do you got, Scratch? Come here, boy. Come here, boy. The dog wags his tail. A small bag clenched Give it between here. his teeth. Hope you keep it well, friend. He gives in and surrenders his father. Ooh, he found a gem. At the dog. Go oh, pet the dog. We gotta go. I we gotta pet the go pet the dog. His tail wagging. We pet the dog. The the dog has been pet. Oh, we pet the dog. Oh, we go. I I pet the dog. But the dog the dog has been pet. I'm gonna tuck the carlac. My beloved. I couldn't help overhearing what Elminster said to Gale. Not every day a god asks for a chat. Hey, maybe I'm invited too. I can be the muscle. Yeah. 
Uh, okay. Leave. Uh, I'm going to bring... I'm going to leave Shadowheart here. What's on your mind? Uh, I'd like... Join me, why don't you? There's plenty of, of adventures to be had. I'd be delighted, though someone else will need to watch the cook pot. Actually, hold on. I should certainly hope so. Uh, because I could just have him go. I'd like to meet at Mr. Strine, which hear what she has to say. Okay. Of course. Is it just... Okay, he's going on ahead then, it looks like. So I guess that means I can keep my... All right. Do I have any more animal speaky potions? Speaky animal potions. I always forget what they look like. I don't think they're rare either. I think they're mundane potions. Whatever, I can always buy another one. Certainly there's an alchemist. Uh, Leave the camp. Talk to miss. All right, uh, where am I going here? I need to get to the tabernacle. The Stormshore uh, tabernacle. Just teleport to the Basilisk Gate. Is this the tabernacle? That's the Basilisk bait, uh, bait gate barracks. I need to go to the tabernacle. She's a glow. That can't be good. She got mysterious Sharon wound. Hi, Guile. There she stands, just as Elminster promised. Mistra, goddess of the weave, mother of all magic. The old man wasn't lying. She's opened the summoning channel. Can't you feel it? I'm a sorcerer, of course I can feel Gale's it. Gale's right. The very air around the statue crackles with magic, as though the weave itself were coursing beneath her stony skin. A stream of pure, undiluted weave. I only have to reach out, and it will carry me to Mistra, wherever she may be. Well, go on then. It's rude to keep a goddess waiting. Time was, I'd have given my right arm for a chance to speak with Mistra again. <laughs> the left one, too. Maybe a knee. You don't owe her so much as a fingernail. She asked you to blow yourself up. Hmm. Not the message one hopes to receive from a past lover. But her first love was always the weave. At best, I was a close second. When I pictured this moment, I thought I'd feel more in control. Yet, yeah, here I am, with palms sweatier than a bugbear's armpit. And just as smelly. I always wonder what being nervous would feel like. I hate it. Do you know what you're going to say to her? Of all the things to be nervous about, an audience of the goddess seems reasonable. Why don't you, why do you care what she thinks? Pull together, you're gonna make a fool of yourself otherwise. Of all the uh, things to be nervous about, an audience with a goddess seems reasonable. You're kind to say so, but this is hardly my first time in Mistra's presence. It's more the matter of what I'm going to say to her. During my time locked away in Waterdeep, I prepared a quite comprehensive speech for her on the subject of our former relationship and the manner in which it ended. Alas, recent events have rendered the majority of it moot, so I'm going to have to improvise. Unless you have any words of wisdom to impart before I go. Not only did I put, not only did I not put a time on the YouTube thing. The, the thumbnail also has the wrong time. Uh, you're not taking me with you. Seek her forgiveness, make her squirm. Tell her the crown will be ours soon enough. Don't give anything away, just find out what she has to say. You shouldn't go to her gale, don't give her the satisfaction. You're not taking me with you? The summoning channel Mistra has provided is for me alone. No one else is permitted to enter it. No matter how talented a user of the weave they are. Uh, don't give anything away. Just find out what she has to say. You'd make a fine three dragon anti player, you know. I think it's best I keep a cool head going into this. Approach it like a particularly high risk round of three dragon anti. I'll let Mistress show her flight, and then I can see how strong a chance we stand of winning the gambit. 
I'll only be gone for a matter of moments. The Outer Plains experience time quite differently to our own. Wait for me. Please. I'm gonna laugh if he just, like, comes back as a severely- He comes back looking exactly like Elminster. Wait a minute. I am Elminster! Time! Uh oh. Gale of Waterdeep. You look well. As do you. But I assume we're not here solely to exchange compliments. So why am I here? You discovered what lies at the heart of the Absolute. The Crown of Causes. And you disobeyed my instruction. Why? Because you had no right to ask that of me. You cast me out. Remember, you were my lover, my chosen, yet still you know so little of me. The past cannot be undone with self-pity, nor can a future be forged. Only with the truth will you see the way ahead. The fragment of magic you tried to return to me was not of my creation. It was the Carsite Weave. It is a corrupted, Half-born magic, wrought in the brief moment Cassus ascended to godhood. It hungers for power, just as he did, and it can never be sated. You unleashed something that would consume all magic in existence, and yet you thought only of preserving yourself. So that's what you're scared of. With the crown of Cassus reforged, I could take control of the Carsite Weave. You can no more control the Carsite Weave than a weather vane could control a storm. That it entered your body and consumed no more than your powers was a miracle. But we will not be granted another. The only reason the orb sleeps is because I have allowed it to feed on the true weave, a temporary measure. But one that will not be enough to save us. With each day that passes, the Elder Brain threatens to become a new kind of god. Its worshippers, a scourge of soulless illithids. If you will not use the orb to end this abomination, then you must find a way to separate crown and host. When you've done this, you must surrender the crown of Carsis to me. A great ask indeed. You've given me much to think on. As you always did. So be it. Follow the needle of your own wisdom. We shall see how truly it leads you. Uh... Bingo! Bingo! Dragon Lover, thank you for the five gifted tier one subs. It's like I was there! You all right, Gail? The Carsite Weave. I had no idea. Do you realize what this means? The orb is no stray piece of ordinary magic. It is something entirely different. The nascent form of a new divine power. Of course, I couldn't control it. I was mortal. But once I reforge the crown, the power of a god will be mine to command. The orb will answer to me. Uh, I'm not sure about all this. I thought the crown was a simple artifact, but Carsite Weave sounds evil. Willing enough power to destroy a city? I like the sound of that. What are the chances Mistress smites you before you get the chance? You really expect me to believe you have no idea of the orb's true nature? I'm not sure about all this. I thought the, I thought the crown was a simple artifact. This Carsite Weave sounds evil. Evil is a reductive term. Too often used to dismiss choices the observer lacks the imagination to understand. Let me assure you, Carsight Weave has no more inherent evil to it than a, a child in the womb, or an axe half forged on the blacksmith's anvil. It is a tool ready to be shaped by its wielder, by me. And you know me to be someone of 
reasonably sound moral judgment, don't you? You sound... Are you kidding me, Gail? You sound like you're about ready to let- you're, you're champing at the bit to get your hands on this just to show up Mistra. Usually you're inclined to engrail ma mortal matters, that's good enough for me. You're forgetting how you came in possession of the cars that weave your good intentions could have detonated it. Morals be damned, this is an incredible opportunity, you must take it. You're forgetting how you came into possession of the cars that weave your good intentions could have detonated it. But they didn't. I always thought it was a miracle that I survived, but I'm starting to wonder if there was more to it. What if it chose me? It makes sense. Created by one powerful wizard, why not be drawn to another? Until recently, it was actively trying to kill you. I doubt it cares whose body it's in. You think this is your destiny? You're turning coincidence into delusions of grandeur, Gail. Stop it. It would make sense. Precisely. What better person to wield Carsus' magic than one who is unafraid to pursue his ambition? Gods and mortals be damned. Think about it. The crown of Carsus. The Netherstones, the Karsai Weave, no more than a tadpole's breath from being reunited. This is my chance to get back everything that was taken from me. Everything Mistra denied me. And once I have it, I can forge a better world. Bingo! Be a better god. I want you to help me. No, Gail, this is far too dangerous. Karsus' magic must be destroyed. I'm right beside you. Time uh, time to make you a god! See, here's the thing. I know this is a bad idea, but I'm also morbidly curious as a, as a practitioner of the magical arts myself. This is your decision to make, Gail, not mine. Well then, what more is there to discuss? All we need to do is stay focused on the task at hand. Defeating that elder brain. After that, you can leave the rest to me. I wonder if I just follow him where he where he'd go. Cause at some point he's gotta he's gotta be going back to camp, but there's no like real way to actually get to camp. What am I looking at in my journal here? Consider Gortash's Oh yeah, disable the steel watch. That is, that is so far, wow, there's a lot of stuff to the west of town that I haven't done yet. Oh right, I had to warn a bunch of people. Uh, someone was saying I had missed something in Worms Crossing. I guess I'll keep exploring that around. Uh, I, I guess I'll keep exploring Baldur's Gate, uh, the lower city, until, uh, until I'm told exactly what it is. Submit to Lord Gortash if you are to be saved. I'd rather not. Is he a gold, uh, gold dragonborn? Uh, it doesn't say what kind of dragonborn he is. That's strange. It's, it said for the other woman, who was a brass. He looks gold. There's no way to tell, though. Lord Gortash. <laughs> Double doors, what are we looking at here? Nortali's Hostel. Nortale's Shelter. Refugees welcome. Well, let's see who's in here. Might do me some good. Hostel Mother Pamela Nortale. Welcome. If you've need of a bunk or a bath, you'll find them upstairs. Well, I was hoping I'd be able to actually do something helpful. I'm grateful to be here. I am. But I thought we'd arrive as a family. Not like this. The soap here smells funny. Soap? There is somebody upstairs. Uh, Gora's Ballast? Good luck getting some kip up here. I'd stuff your ears if I were you. Alright, well, nothing going on in this place. Nothing... feasible, anyway. Anything else going on around here? 
I could see what else is around. Brain quakes. All right, let's get, let's uh, head on over here. I'm curious as to what this is. The Baldur's Mouth Gazette. Are we gonna fall into the trope of the uh, of the? Ooh, hello. An upstairs area. Not permitted to pull the lever, though. An elevator! Mmm. Hey, cut it out, will you? I've got deliveries to manage. <laughs> Every time I talk to somebody, I explode in blue. Uh, Glimmer Whistleborn. Don't know about you, but them big metal bastards really put me off my flow. I don't like them either. Oop. Oh. Edvard Needle! Well, well, if it isn't the city's next celebrity, you star in our next edition's top story. Seems odd you've written the article before asking me any questions. Estra deals with the personal interviews and fluff pieces. I deal with the truth. And the truth is, you're a damned menace. J. Jonah Jameson? Trafficking refugees into our city is hardly a good look. Especially when so many are absolutists and murderers. The truth will be out with tomorrow's broadsheet. People will spit in your face. Your very presence will be bad for business. You'll be a pariah, an outcast, as you should be. And then, we can only hope the fist do their duty and escort you to the gallows. Your days of scumming up this good city streets will be over. Stop the article or I'll cook you from the inside out. Who told you this nonsense? I would never reveal my sources, and certainly not to the likes of you. Besides, you're too late. The headlines are loaded into the print works already. Tomorrow, you will feel the power of free speech. Vox Populi, Vox Dei. Vox Machina. No. Gods! I believe our distinguished guest was just leaving. Would you care to escort them out? Oh, man. Oh, man. I want to see more of the inside of this place. Oh, I've, I've got steel watchers to, uh, to, to deal with here as well. All right, uh, yeah, non-lethal. Oh, wait, I can't. Wait, I can get up to him. What do you mean can't reach this destination? On my way. There we go. And then I am dealing non-lethal, right? Okay, take him out. And shoot with shoot with crossbow. Dang. Steel Watcher's turn. Halt, citizen. Immune to prone. I did so much damage. You're coming with me. Ready for another round. She's been maimed. Uh, 
All right. Friends of time. I do need to. Oh, I'm immobile because I'm maimed. My turn. As is she. Oh, and I'm just like, can I not move at all? Seems to be the case. Let's end this. Good thing I'll save right before all this. Oh my god. Throw. Disadvantage, you say? Huh. Keep throwing! I did kill a man, but that's fine! <laughs> Keep throwing! Keep throwing! Another fight. Let's go. <sighs> Twin spell, haste. You and you. Go again, Karlak! Throw! Oh no. <laughs> uh, she can't move. Neither can he, because he's they're maimed. Six percent, good God. Do I have anything a little bit more mm, automatic? Well, Carlac is down. Uh, counter- ooh, yeah, definitely want to counterspell that one. Didn't work. An aura of terror. I'm probably dying. Jump. Down I go. I'm lethargic because I lost concentration. Aha! What happened to Astarian's turn? Oh, he's lethargic, that's why. We got this, we got this. Uh, mass cure wounds. You. You, you, me, you, target must be an ally. That's good enough. Everybody's up! Survival is all that matters. I forever, pal. Don't last much longer like this. Not really frenzied anymore. Mage Slayer! Uh, counterspell! She's down! My temporary hit points! Aha! Ah! Uh. Uh. 
Oh! Get your little stabbies in. I'm going in this fully expecting to die. Time to chaos! Oh, get Karlak up! I'm just gonna run around and start hitting people with this. Body blow! Ow. Eh! There we go, guardian spirits! What say you? And we get Blade Ward for it. Now what? It's hard not to try and kill people. Sixth level magic missile on him. Maybe not. Ah! But what of sixth level cloud of daggers? I'm pretty sure he resists slashing. Yeah. But weak to elect vulnerable to electricity, you say? Twelve percent. Yeah, let's try it. Oh, I may have made a horrible mistake here. Uh, Carlock, maybe you should move out of the way here, sweetheart. Counterspell! We big! Aha! How am I living through this? This was not the plan! <laughs> Healing word at first level? There we go. Now we just gotta get in there and start hitting people physically so we don't kill them. Come on, can't stay idle. <laughs> it's our whole thing. We're we're being we're doing we're fine. We're okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Reckless attack. And you know what? Let's use her fighter fighter abilities to heal up just a little bit more. There we go. That's a lot. Oh, that killed her! Only really need the one attack, huh? How about a lovely cone of cold? Fifth level magic missile. Fireball! Kablita. Give you a bit of mental fati fatigue way. Strike Start striking! Get them poisons off! Poor fucker. Don't last much 
much longer like this. She'll blow. Oh uh, no. Shield. She could take care of this from here. Pursuit protocol. You attack the steel watch, the steel watch are searching for you across the city. So does that mean they're just gonna like come in here and start messing things up? I shouldn't have wished to live in more interest. <laughs> He's just going back to work! Hang on, wait, stay there. You reminded me of that word I was looking for, uh, cor, cor, corpusculent. That's it. As you were. Well, I killed one of the people in your- I killed one of the guards and- oh dear. Well, the good thing is, is that I have now have more or less free reign in this entire area. Look at all the blood. Watch your back. I guess short rest. We can keep going a little longer now. Right. Has no heard? With ease. I shall lock pick this. Requires a 20, you say. Guidance. May your heart be your guiding key. Out of sight. Out of mind. Oops, oh, that just stops me. Alt is what I'm looking for. Here's a key. You've set foot in a restricted area. A swift exit, maybe. Try to convince him you belong here. Uh, oh, who, wait, who's the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, just a quick look around. No, no, that's an... Oh, it's impossible! Who? Who's doing this check? Oh, how did I miss it by so little? A valiant, but miss. Okay. What am I to do? Hey, pursuit protocol's gone away. Who? <sighs> I'm gonna. Step yeah, branch off, branch off a starian from the rest of the group, so that way I can get a clean slate to walk through here unabated. I did. I hopefully I got that key. A gilded chest. Uh, oh, that's not what I was looking at. I was looking at you, the gilded chest. Arcane cultivation, elixir of viciousness. The number you need to roll a critical hit is reduced by one, replaces the effects of the elixir you were drinking. Uh, to my good friend Edvard. My good friend, I've noticed the quality of your work has been slipping as of late, despite the new equipment I provided. Tisk tisk, Edvard. I'm sending along material for urgent publication about someone, some dangerous adventurers who have been allowed into the city. Attend to it, and let's not hear uh, any more about my interfering with your editorial voice, because that voice belongs to me. In the, uh, in the city's best interest, of course. Gee. A document chest. Let's go. I found an ink spattered key. Okay, a trap disarm kit. And all right, so I've got a key and an ink spattered key. There's also a heavy chest over here that I would like to. I'm very keen on. Can't believe I had a fight inside of the newspaper. Heroic portrait of Gortash. Ink spattered key. Well, there's this down here, so maybe it leads to maybe that's the printing press. Let's keep to the shadows. There. <laughs> someone comes. Good lord! Someone comes in the next day and just go and like is is or someone comes in now and they're like, all right, time for me to get to work. And what the hell happened here? Oh yeah. Uh, 
don't have permission to be here. All right, I'll be on my way then. This calls for careful food. Hmm. At the ready. Sherm, sherm, sherm. If only I knock this guy. Well, wait a minute. I can just knock this guy out, can't I? No one's looking for me. Why don't I knock that guy out? Let's keep your hands deep. I'm, I'm trying to close the door, dang it! I don't want anybody to see the goings-ons that I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to knock him out. No time to rest. Don't touch me. Maybe I can do it subtly as... into the knockout zone. Still alive. There we go. So that's progress. He'll be fine. Carefully now. Oh, I should probably check uh the newspaper tour here to see what he's got. Silver key, ink spattered key, and a mace. I should check to see what the what the steel watcher has on him as well. He needed some sleep. He was thinking too long on that on that uh, corp corp corpulent word. Infernal iron, you say? Don't waste a step. Corpia corpulasco or whatever. Let's see what this does. It's like when you knock somebody out in Hitman, they go. Hur! Boulder's Mouth Basement. Uh, there's a pouch. Nothing in the pouch. News Hawker Float. Use this to collect uh, the News Hawker sales at the end of the day and give, uh, to give them change for tomorrow. Do not give Luan another float. If he keeps misplacing it, uh, he'll have to give change out of his own pocket. Edvard Needle, Editor-in-Chief of the Boulder's Mouth Gazette. Uh, Steel Watchers gr uh, greet our new protectors. Public park, uh, public park, public disgrace. Another gaff from buffoon Duke Dillard Porter. Uh, refugee from Eastern Unrest arrive in Rivington. Elf song at tavern changes its tune. Sanitation strike by sewer kobolds. Price is two, edition 81. Son of a biscuit, that's where we came from. You know, this would have been a lot easier if I just never talked to that guy. I did commit a murder. But it's that seems to be the norm here in Baldur's Gate. Oh, good. Alright, well, if I can get the jump on them, this shouldn't be too difficult. Do I have uh, yes, arrow of construct slang? And just to make sure that is a construct, right? Just a steel aerial construct. Yep. Far, he's the only one in combat right now, but we're well, definitely going to be changing that here real quick. A little off the top. He's still facing the wall, so Carlac can just run in there and start attacking. But Carlac can also throw really good, so.
Uh, I'm trying to think of the most damage I could deal right now. Can't rage because we're not in battle. I think my best bet might just be chucking. Chucking, and then I could use the metaphysical tom to cast something big. Uh, chuck, 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 throw. There we go. Easy as. Oh, she's going last. She's gonna have to wait a little bit on on additional chuckings. What to do? But since we're still sneaking. I can get some more, uh, decent clips off here. Let me see... Vulnerable to electricity, I only have one lightning spell and I'm out of spell slots for it. Oh, wait a minute, wait, 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 but... Wait, I do have that necklace. Where is it? God, I've got so much crap on me. Uh, spell slot restoration. Restore an expended sp spell slot of any level. What does the other one do? That's elemental augmentation. Alright, well. Okay, that was enough to alert them. Uh, wow, if that's the case, I'm thinking we bring down a flame strike. Maybe it'll just blow up. 9% chance of getting through its defenses. Surprisingly good dexterity save for this. Got advantage for hiding, 91%. This'll do 8d48. Or 8d48. 6d8. 8d6. Flame Strike can do up to 60, which is better, but also I'll be I'll most, more than likely be dealing half damage. Let's go with the fifth level Guiding Bolt. Really? Bend luck. Mists! Oh my god! Oh, he gets another shot. Cutting action hide. Look at the farms to crit. Oh, I was really hoping he'd blow up. He's got a dash to get closer. <laughs> Immune to prone. Okay, I need to figure out what I want to do here. Actually, would sh still breathing despite everything. They're vulnerable to chain lightning. I just want to check here. Strike an enemy. Three more bolts leave from target to target. As much as three other enemies within. Okay, so the path isn't interrupted between this guy and this guy, right? God, I hope not. Uh... Oh, that's the exploding one! Uh, let me, let me see... Strength of... Actually... Carlac's got a chance to do something really funny right now. I could shove him into here. Because that would put him within the range of explosion.
Can I see how much damage the explosion's gonna do? Uh, 4d12 plus 26. Wait, do they resist fire damage? Oh no, they're immune to burning. Although, she is- he's already within range of it, so I think it might be better if I just came over to the side of him and started attacking him normally. Yeah, because as long as that circle's within this circle, then that'll- it'll do. Where's her weapon? Wait, it's supposed to come back after you throw it! What happened? Shove it is. Too heavy to shove. I can't believe she still has room to... It's supposed to return to her hand! And she doesn't have enough action economy to get that back. Alright. Action surge just so she can have her weapon back. There we go. And she's got one more, like, uh, action there to, to be able to do something. And I might as well frenzy! Uh, mass healing word. Gotta be people I can see, so... Yeah, fourth level mass healing word, please. Thank goodness I'm able to get Astarian out of there. And he's engaged, so I can come up behind him and start uh, start stabbing him. I think I'm gonna do a, another mass healing word, just to be on the safe side. Alright, kaboom? There's no kaboom! Where's the kaboom? Oh shit! I'm presuming that this thing will just be at 1 HP. No, it blows up. Okay. Oh my god, we leveled up from that. Uh, new spell. It's the circle of death! Sculpt a massive sphere of entropic energy around a creature, devastating all targets and surrounding creatures. What's the range on this? 18 me- Wow, Jesus Christ. Disintegrate. What spells do I have now? Chain lighting is my only 6th level spell. <gasps> Sunbeam. There's no, there's not really a lot of times when people are like in front of each other or uh, when people are like lined up in a way that where sunbeam would make sense. Arcane gate link to teleportation spots. Circle of death. I want to do disintegrate but I'm pretty sure it dis disintegrates any like equipment they had on them as well. That's a single target as well. 
Circle of Death might be better. We have been encountering a... Well, actually, we haven't really been encountering a lot of stuff. Well, no, the Steel Watchers are immune to uh, Necrotic. And we've kind of made a lot of uh, a lot of enemies of them. Your eyes become black corridors, walled in teeth. Your gaze capable of inflicting dread, sickness, or putting creatures to sleep. I mean, Sunbeam is a concentration spell? Oh, wait! You can recast Sunbeam without expect. Ooh, I think I'm taking Sunbeam then. Now for a feat. I guess. So here's the thing. I should take Constitution Resilient. Unlike the Blood of Lathander, it's actually useful. Yeah. You're gonna want to check the more details on Eye Bite. While concentrating, you may cast Eye Bite without uh, expending a. Wait. While concentrating, wait. What? Uh, while concentrating on this, on on Eye Bite, or while concentrating on any spell. Shield has been useful. Magic missile has been useful. Cloud of Daggers is my favorite. Hypnotic pattern. I understand that as really good. Uh, applications. Counter spells really good. Wall of Fire is good. I don't really use invisibility that much. That's a fourth level spell, which means I could boost that. Can I can I boost that even further by casting it at higher levels? It doesn't say so, but I'm uh, certainly it would it would add another D8 to it at higher levels. And I'll keep resilience that way I can keep my concentration up as high as possible. All right, there we go. Next up. Uh, we're putting that into Fighter, so that way she can get the, uh, the feat for it. Cause, what would she get? Brutal Critical. It's fine. Her, her damage has been good anyway. I, I prefer the feat anyway. Tavern Brawler for the throwing. What else should I get on her? I could go for the ability score improvement. Can't go any higher than that, though, on that. Constitution, I could, I could just go ability score improvement and imp improve her, uh, her armor class even further. Unless there was something else that went well with uh, with the throw barian. What subclass champion? Uh, I don't remember. I think it was champion because uh, I don't I don't think um uh what is it? I'm pretty sure she doesn't have any superiority die. Brutal crit adds dice to crits. I'd rather go a little bit more defensive, because Carlock's been falling down a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the ability score improvements, that way she gets better uh, charisma or dexterity and constitution. Ah. Rogue level 12, what do you get for just a feat, huh? I wonder if it'd be worth taking a level in another class. Dual wielder. You can use two weapon fighting even if your weapons aren't light, but I think something of his depends on uh weapons being light. I could do a, a ability enhancement on his dexterity. He is using hand crossbow, so maybe crossbow expert? Does it impose disadvantage when in melee and piercing shots inflict gaping wounds for twice as long? Not, it's not terribly good. Durable, elemental adept, great weapon master, lightly armored, lucky. Anybody got any recommendations? Magic initiate, martial adept. 
Learn two maneuvers from the Battlemaster and gain a superiority die to fuel them. Bingo! off with the 106 months tier 1. So probably going to say, Mini Wizard looks great. Won't be here too long, though, because you're probably further along in the quest uh, than I am. Lucky is always funny, but it's... Uh, the reason I don't like luck is just because of how overpowered it is in normal D&D. &D, or normal Lucky. Ritual Caster, Savage Attacker. Considering his stuff, the Savage Attacker might be good. I already have... Sh I have Sharpshooter. Could also just boost the dex. Polar Master, or half feet with plus dex. Yeah, I can't think of anything that would give plus dex, though. Skilled Shield Master, Sentinel, Savage Attacker, Ritual Caster, Resilient, Polar Master, Performer. Any of the armor feats? Any of the armor feats? Does that include medium armor? Wow, that well, I can't believe that actually works. Uh, mobile doesn't give a dexterity bonus. Difficult terrain doesn't slow you down when you dash. If you make a move after uh, after a melee attack, you don't protect it, provoke an attack of opportunity. Athlete, when you're prone, standing up uses significantly less movement, and your jump also uh, jump distance also increases by fifty percent. Uh, the part of the reason, like, I, I don't like some of these is just because of how situational they are compared to, like, others. Durable. Great weapon master. When you land a critical hit on a target, isn't there one that, like, takes away from your accuracy of melee weapons, but also gives you, like, a plus ten to their damage? Cause that's what I got with Sharpshooter. Is that Weapon Master? No. That great Weapon Master? Uh, when you land a, here we go. Attack with melee weapons you're proficient with or wielded in, or, and are wielded in both hands. That doesn't, that only works with two-handed weapons though. That's why I like Sharpshooter. Crossbow expert, crossbow expert works for me though because it, because that means that I'm that I'd I'd be able to get the the bonus damage even when I'm in melee. Plus I'd be able to uh, to get the piercing shot ability as well. I'm gonna go with uh, with crossbow expert. And shadow heart. None of her spells change because they're just prepared spells. And in her case, mm mm mm, what to do? I could do Resilient Constitution. Uh, guys, she is a, as I mostly have her as a caster. Although I see someone saying ASI into Wisdom. Does she not have Warcaster? She does have Warcaster. Well, yeah, ASI into wisdom would be good just to improve that spell save or that uh, that spell save DC. And our healing spells are more potent per per die. All right, let's do it. I don't really get a lot at level twelve. Uh, le level eleven seems to be like the last like big one. We short rest here. Yes, we can. Carlac, Carlac definitely needs it. These guys got yeah, infernal iron. What's in here? Good here, I hope. Uh, Baldur's Gate Gazette, Dukes of Baldur's Gate. Well, there's a reason this must be highlighted, right? Wealth speaks with a loud voice in a city founded and made prosperous by trade. Baldur's Gate has always been governed by its parliaments of peers, consisting of the heads of the richest p patriarch families with executive rulership by a council of four, the four most powerful dukes, one of whom is designated as Grand Duke. 
That tradition has held for many centuries with the occasional interruption in times of crisis. And a crisis is where we find ourselves again, which accounts for the recent changes in the city's administration. Uh, last year, the Council of Four was Duke Belen Stelmane, Duke Dillard Porter, and Duke uh, Thal Thalamra uh, Van, Van Thampur, chaired by Grand Duke Older Ravengard. After the death of Duke Van, uh, Van Thampur and the worrying disappearance of Duke uh, Grand Duke Ravengard during the fall of Et uh, Eltru uh, Elturel, the question of who would make up the Council of Four going forward was postponed pending the return or confirmed loss of Ravengard. Into this power vacuum was a brash new contender, Lord Enver Gortash, who promised that his leadership would see the city through its series of crises. When Ravengard finally returned and endorsed Gortash for that leadership role, Baldur's Gate gratefully turned to its new Archduke to bring its citizens back to safe harbor. Wonder if the gods are watching me. What the heck is through here? All I know is that this is just, like, the stop the presses. This is where I came from, isn't it? Son of a biscuit! Well, they're still unconscious, so we're going back down. Oh, I curse to put my hands on everything. Yeah, things have been rough for, for... Oh! This is the elevator. We're gonna stealth just because if I open this door and it turns out it's something I don't want to see, then I'll at least be prepared for it. Nothing yet. Also, I want to put my uh, other necklace back on. The augmentation, elemental augmentation. Should mind my step. Anything in here? Grease bottle. Does it kill the chest? Let's have a look. Astarian, I need you to unlock this. Quietly. Yes, just be very quiet. They don't need to know we're here. Fifteen, that's child's play. What's inside? Uh, oh, the sales of papers. Well. <laughs> One. <laughs> The different sales in different Brampton, Eastway, Grey Harbor, one, Heapside, eleven, and collection records. A notice scrawled at the bottom of this otherwise mundane sales record. Etvard, mate, I don't know what you're lacing those papers with, but they're selling like silk root in a druid grove. Bloody good stuff. Waiting with bated breath. Why is there so much grease in here? There's a few other things that I noticed are out. Oh, better not be cursed. Open this door. Pivot to new target. Ah, printing press. Cutest cat you've ever seen. I swear to you. I wish to be able to take a look at the cutest cat I've ever seen. Uh... Can I read it? Oh, wait! It's an article about a humdrum... The humdrum of Baldur's Gate doesn't talk about your arrival in the city. Oh! They haven't sent it to the press yet! This is a uh, thieves' tools. Das ist good. I mean, there's a there's a wall here, but uh, embrace modernity or mo moder modernity. Printing division. The dry run of new Enchanto automated printing press was a complete success. We'll be switching immediately to the broadsheet production on that shiny new device. And none of your bitching about how it might be possessed by a spirit. Because of course possessed by a spirit. Deal with it. We're not the only print news. Uh, we not only print the news, we are the news. Edford Needle, editor-in-chief. My 
just want a little look. Pivot to new target. Was there something in there about the Archduke leadership verification? Where, where is that? So I walk around the newsroom floor. What do I see? Half of you are still working on your usual old columns about syllabub recipes and ro road repairs. Knock it off! I made it perfectly clear in this morning's briefing that we are going all out to blight the reputation of that phony band of adventurers now sticking up the city. Throw all of your usual columns in the rubbish bin and get to work on some hit pieces now! Oh, it's back that way. Double doors here, there's double doors there. Something over there. There it is! Uh, the Gandhian Auto Printer Manual. I did not murder everyone, I, uh, I accidentally killed a guard and a person who was working on the paper. Um... <laughs> but I left everyone else alive! <laughs> It was an accident, I swear. Gandhi and auto printer manual. Using your auto printer is a two-step process. Pr step one, loading your headline article. Printing is easy as opening a hatch and placing your desired article in the machine. Once the auto printer is loaded, it will animate and begin pumping out copies until either the ink reservoir or paper hopper is empty. Two, endless profit. Now your exceptional journalism will be ready to deliver to your vast, vast readership. You'll need it with every amount of broadsheet this thing will print. Well, let's get this over here. Approach the printer, noting its ink splots and intricate cogs. Before you can get closer, however, it begins to speak. Oi! Gormless! Over here! Thought I recognized you. Dolly 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 was right. You aren't much of a looker. <sighs> the... Uh, oh, it's... Uh, let me guess, another fay that needs freeing? I'm not trapped, you fool! This printing machine is just marvelous, with nothing like it in the Feywild. This is my paintbrush. I make sure everything that's in those big, ugly article blocks becomes fine printed artistry. I'm a master pensman, I am. Dolly can't stop talking about you. <laughs> hero this, hero that, hero here, hero there. <laughs> Hello, hero. You know, there's some absolute filth about you in tomorrow's edition. Seeing as you were kind enough to free Dolly, how's about I do you a favor? Why don't we change the headline? We can load up something a bit less damaging for your reputation. Uh, how do we do that? Well, first, I've got to release the old nasty top story. <gasps> There. <laughs> now, you've got to find a new article to replace it. Uh... Where can I find the stuff to print a new broadsheet? Listen, mate, I'm already doing you a favor. I'm sure you can figure it out yourself. As the old saying goes, ours is not to wonder why. Ours is but to print or die. Or something like that. Uh, Renison Ingenuity. I am inspired. It's not funny? I don't care who keeps messing with the printer and adding mistakes to our additions. I'll dock all of your pay if it doesn't cease immediately. Edvard Needle, Editor-in-Chief, Baldur's Mouth Gazette. Uh, there's also Wolf in Sheep's Clothing right here. Gandhian Research Report. Here, you pass your eyes over a Ghanaian report concerning the Shadow Curse. Landmarks are sketched quite expertly, with special attention paid to areas where the cursed hangs, oh, curse hangs thickest. Of interest, the report ends with a recommendation uh, for someone called the High Artificer. Uh, that recommendation reads thusly. It is a geographical, uh, it, it is a geography unsalvageable unsal uh, High Artificer. The curse's ambiguity makes it inscrutable, as well as deadly. It is the snared belief amongst our party that this area be designated as imperative to avoid on Gandhian maps, and for all further expeditions to be sum uh, sum summarily halted, discontinued, and not reconsidered thereafter. Wolf in sheep's clothing. I do want to see what that one's all about. 
Yep, dip, D. Article. This article's Weasley words uh, weave a terrible tale about you, potentially rep, uh, reputation shattering if put out to print. Well, then we can't have that, can we? I do want to see if there's anything uh, if there's anything else around here. Curse breakers or curse makers. A note to self. My dearest Edvard, our new gift from the venerable Lord Gortash has already outstripped any production records the manual printer set. They're clever little bastards, those Gondians. Shame their foundry's such an eyesore. No, we're fully uh, on board with the Gondians and their fantastic steel watch. Th uh, that's the new line. In fact, the foundry could be argued uh, they even accent Grey, Har accent Grey Harbor. My, I think I feel a travel feature coming on. All my love, Edvard. Uh... Wait, did he write a letter to himself? Yeah, he did write a letter to himself. This is a note to self. Notice of termination. Dear Miss Fowes, while the mouth likes to nurture an atmosphere of open and honest debate within our newsroom, we draw the line of conspiracy, intimidation, and libelous behavior. You have become a f uh, and are a fost uh, fostering a toxic, unjournalistic presence in the workplace, and while that brings me no joy, you've left us no choice. Uh, I do not accept your resignation. You are fired without pay effective immediately. Any further harassment of myself, our staff, or any of our generous benefactors will force my hand in pursuing criminal action. So we kind of know what's going on around here. Oh, I didn't want to pickpocket. I wanted to look into the backpack. The Duke's mouth. Article marked for editor's desk that looks like it was never went to, never went to print. There's a sickness in our city, dear reader. It nibbles on the council's ear and private audience chambers. It clangs around our streets and in steel automatons. And it whispers sweet nothings from the pages of this very broadsheet. The fetid presence of Lord Enver Gortash is rotting our city to its very core. This reporter is personally ashamed to work with, for a publication, no prop, a propaganda vehicle that allows the infection to spread. There is so much of, to this story, dear reader, so very much, and I'm excited to share it with you. Yes, you, Edvard, consider this my notice of res uh, resignation. Uh, Holly Fowis, uh, investigative journalist, newly freelance. Always room curse small. breakers or curse makers? Uh, this article's weirdly words have a, uh, okay, so yeah, just uh, just all these different ones. But the cutest cat you've ever seen, a humdrum article that doesn't talk about your arrival into Baldur's Gate. What does that say? Oh, notice of termination. I thought it said like naive something or other. Oh, you've returned. Ready to serve some discord? Absolutely. How delightful. Insert item. I gotta tell you about the cutest cat you've ever seen. Oh golly, the cutest cat you've ever seen. They stopped the presses complete, or do I gotta wait on that one? Oh no, I guess I gotta wait. Baldur's Gate, stop the presses. Check the next edition of the Baldur's Month Gazette. There are more somewhere. Have I explored everything in here? There's, I think there's actually a door that I haven't been in yet. Yeah, these double doors here. It might show up after a long rest. Who knows, man? You know what? I wonder if I found that disavowed uh, journalists, the one who was fired from this place. I wonder. A dark room? <laughs> Public danger. Regarding port. Hey, a silver ingot. I'll take it. Whoops, I didn't want to pickpocket Shadow Heart. I wanted to read. No, I want to read regarding portrait production. An unsent letter from Etvard Needle addressed to Lord Enver Gortash. Far be it, my lord, for me to question the degree from you, but I worry you haven't. Uh, you haven't the full picture in mind. If we were to stop all production of the Baller's Mouth Gazette for even a 10 day. Our reach and audience impact would be, would be take a debilitating blow. Yes, I understand the portrait you've ordered. We uh, 
print is a Fevris original. Yes, I understand it'll what it'll do for your image before the council meets next discussion of succession plans, but please take a moment to consider what you're asking of me. Yours faithfully, Edvard Needle, editor-in-chief of the, uh, the Baldur's Mouth Gazette. Public danger. I don't want to pick Pocket Astarian! A public danger. Reputation shattering if put to print. Well, at least I'm stealing all these so they don't have... I need to see what else they got around here. Official print job. Printing office, Baldur's Mouth. You are about to find out why we got you that fancy enchanted automated printing press. Slider constitutes a mandatory printing order for five bundles of official Lord uh, Gortash Archducal Coronation portrait posters. It's ordered to be delivered immediately as possible. Keep that press running all night. We'll make sure the neighbors don't complain. And watch your quality control. We don't want Lord Gortash's face uh, smeared or pumpkin colored. Uleva, aid to Archduke designate. Another silver ingot. I actually don't know if there's any other... I've, I've taken all the uh, the other things out of here, as far as I can tell. Unless there are places I haven't been yet. Like if one of these areas were to have a secret room associated with it, which... Oh, I guess it's just the edge of, like, the, the low fog. I don't know if you could ruin Lord Gortash's portrait, but these are already are like all, all like around anyway. So, I mean, like the best I can do would be, oops, the best I could do would be this, and they're indestructible for some reason. Swift as my feet can carry me. Let's see. I do want to see if I can talk to the printing press, uh, Pixie again. Paper's printing right now, pal. Should be on the streets tomorrow. So yeah, I guess you could only fix the, uh, the newspapers then. Um, seems I've done everything I could here. Now to escape and to, you know, hope to God that the... Steel Watch isn't still looking for me. There are some, there are some stories that are positive in your favor around. Are they are they like uh, are they topside? Because I don't see them around here. Time to get into the elevator. I'm not gonna, gonna pull lever here. Oh shoot! <laughs> hey, get me out! Help! Someone can see me through the window. Oh, for God's sake! Well, we're out of combat. <laughs> Never wanted the easy path. Uh, no, I need to go the other way. Uh, metal door. Because. I'm so tired. How do people do this all day? I think I'm just gonna... Is there... Can I... Yeah, well, I can... Quote-unquote exit out this way. Just gotta... Yeah... No need to, uh... No need for anything, uh, to... No need to... Yeah... I went up in the elevator, I tried to sneak around so that way I could unlock the door, but a guard saw me. And it wasn't even like a, like a city guard, it was like a guard for the newspaper. So 
God damn. Interviews, politics, gossip. All of it gets in that bloody boulder's mouth rag. Except what the people actually want in a broadsheet. <laughs> I, I love that. Did you hear that? They don't print puzzles in there, do they? Oh, wait, there's somebody in here. Uh, murder target Cora. Didn't I already speak to Cora? Yeah, I did talk to Cora already. Well. The wine festival. I still can't. All right. Well, that's. I've warned them. Now to begin warning the rest. Oh, and Casador's place, of course. People what people want out of a newspaper is puzzles. Are we right in for yeah, we are near the magic shop. Oh yeah, there's stuff I can explore in the magic shop too. Bone cloak apothecary. I'll be able to get uh the speak with animals. I might be able to get a speak with animals potion. <gasps> oh it's these two! Yes, love. Balin! It's bone cloaks. I'm Balin. Hello. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's good to see you again, Balin. Sorts of ingredients and goods. I go on, Balin. Get on with it then. I have some. Hi, Dareth. <laughs> it's you. I never forget a face. Noble stock is why the customers came. We were out in our arses soon enough without it. Too bad my oh yeah, I couldn't fight any noble stock. I completely forgot about that. Are you glad to be back in Baldur's Gate? <laughs> oh sure, cultists on the loose, a murderer hacking people to bits, Yee. and big metal freaks stomping hither, thither, and yon. Couldn't be more delighted. D uh, d how are you and Balin getting on? He's wrecking my head as always. Makes himself useful with a broom from time to time, at least. I'd like to trade. Go on, then. She still has all the stuff I sold her before. And a potion of animal speaking. Excellent. I do have Waz. Except I need to buy more from her if I'm going to make it worthwhile. Give me your potions of supreme healing and we'll balance out the offer. Butter. I'm always down for... Well, there's really not much I could do here. Am I allowed to go upstairs or are you gonna get mad? I'm apparently just allowed to be in here. I guess she likes me or something. Dareth's journal. Dumathoin take the man. I thought when we got back to the city uh, and were in familiar surroundings again that he'd mellow out a bit and regain some focus. But no, he's as fuddled as ever, ever the old tarantula and even more short tempered about it than the Underdark. He needs my help, and he hates that. Always has. I won't take it anymore. If he hits me again, I'm going to serve some wyvern toxin in his porridge the next morning. Warg shit, did I actually write those words? I better hide this. Dareth. We discovered your Triforce Heroes. Let's play it with John and Josh. That was fun. Team up! Noble stalk is why the customers came. He's wrecking my head as all. Yeah, there ain't nothing different there. 
I don't want to go to- I do not want to go to Kazador's place quite yet. Oh, but we do have a sigil circle here at the lower wall central- uh, lower si lower city central wall. Good times there, good times. Uh, I do Thank need God. to check out the murder- There's, uh, apparently the person who is, uh, doing the murdering is over yonder. Ooh, 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 a reason to use the potion! Hello, Malta. Hi, bud. What's up? It was another day in the city of lies, Baldur's Gate, where the people begged for justice until they starved. Two heroes were fated to cross paths that day. Their eyes met. Destiny was calling. And they both answered. Strangers, only in a fool's definition of the word, it was the start of something incredible. Two heroes on the hunt for justice, no matter the cost. All the tall one had to do was say yes. Yes, join me. The tall one had failed the first test. They lacked no! caution. The cat could have just as easily been a foe as a potential friend. Perhaps it was simply not meant to be. No, Malta! Upon their return. The cat couldn't help but wonder whether the tall one had fine. No, where was the last save? Oh God! Oh God! Oh. Upon their return. Oh. I wish it auto saved more often, like when you enter and exit houses. You one of Tamrin's friends? Well, we haven't seen him. He did a runner one night, never came back. You won't find him here. All right, I gotta go to go for the murder target here. Tell you what, I really enjoyed our book this month. Dusk's Dark Desires. Highly recommend it. Hang on, hang on. Don't distract me. I've been waiting a bloody month to talk about this book. Kepley. Oh, hello there. Feel free to listen in, but only members may participate in discussion. Well, fine. Uh, the Liberated. Huh. A tribute to liberty. Going on here? Compliments of Stony and like Bony. Careful. I smell an ambush. Are you sure it's not the flowers you're smelling? An ambush? Uh, better safe than sorry, I suppose. From where? I don't care what Emin said. I'm not getting the ball. You can't make me. Where's the- where's the ball? Bingo! I shouldn't talk to strangers. Where's your ball? There's the ball. Sinister hooded man. Uh, Federal Storbler with 57 months here was saying, Hey Tom, how's the romantic of Carlac coming? I mean, we're already together, so. Sunpire Rising with 17 months of tier one saying, 17 months, or tier two rather. Glad to be here for every second of it. You rock, Tom. Thank you. Hello? We redden our steel by the light of day in his name. 
Reaper of Baal Coltide. Or Cotilled. Clotilled. It seems you've won Lady Oren's favor. Join us in this act of slaughter in Baal's name. I have better things to you. I will not slaughter innocents. I'll protect them from you. <laughs> I have better things to do, but you go ahead. God. Which one, chat? Which one? Which one? Chat really wants me to be a good, good boy. Then you betray Orin and Baal himself. Your blood will spill for this. Well, okay. there's a lot of people here. Wait, what? Unstoppable? Uh, reduce the next damage taken uh, by the by the entity to one. Consumes one charge of unstoppable. Unstoppable creatures cannot be moved by any external force, mundane or magic. Jesus Christ. Oh, if I do that, like if I just jump past him, then I'd probably be able to make it to him, but... I'm gonna come over here and crossbow him. You're only level three anyway. Level eight, level three. Assassinate. Oh my God! Whoa, whoa, whoa! They're attacking innocents! He just threw a rock at Sparky! I need to move uh, him as well, so that way he'd be able to potentially see the invisible bloke, too. Alright. Twinning haste. Still can't see him. Conversation? <laughs> All right. Frenzy time. Ready for this. Uh, Rose Dragon Slayer London saying, Evening, Tom. I take my commercial flight exam tomorrow. Uh, hoping for the best. Good luck! I'm just gonna action surge. Cause if I can, the more, the more damage I get on her, the better. I have three actions in my action economy there. I get down there and not enough. How much health does she have left? Seven. Uh, let's see. Well, I do want to go down to the shady guy. But I think right now. Our biggest target right now. Is ye, madam. Four damage at the minimum. 
Gonna try. I was. I was gonna try and knock her out. Honest, I was. But sometimes things don't go the way you think they will. I'm on the low ground here, but I do definitely need to get some hits off on this person. Do I have like hold person? I got polymorph. Are they in range of that? Yes. What do you mean not enough movement? If I'm able to cast the, is that a touch spell? No, it's not. Son of a biscuit. Okay. Um. Charm person, turn undead. I mean, she's just got a bunch of spells that can work out for me here. Fear? I could put the fear in this guy. Drop everything and become fearful. Uh, doesn't grant any benefits to cast upward. Okay. Oh, that's... She is is fear. He doesn't... Okay. Well, so much for that. Oof! You bastard! I didn't even see that other guy. Oh, You bastard! I hope she's running away. How? There's a town guard right there who's doing nothing about this! Sir! Sir! Ma'am? Keep out of this, Captain. Do not forget whom you serve. Of course, I just thought you might need assistance. I... You feel an all too familiar squirm in the recesses of your mind. The fist has a tadpole, but something's off. Not I, we. And we do not serve. Defective. Very well. Another offering to Baal. Okay, well, we have an ally. It was, yep. Yeah. And other fists are getting involved. Okay. This is very confusing. This way. At any rate, get him over there. Crossbow! Hit him once, damn it! Please don't kill the nice old man. You killed the nice old man. What happened? Why am I- why am I out of combat? Where did everybody go? There's the f where's the manip? Whoa, 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 what happened? Fistbella! Bloody hell! Who was that lot? And the captain! She's dead! Wha how did she die? I got zero answers from that! They li it's like we were too far away and they just despawned. Whoever their murder target is is in that building. Yeah, that's probably just a Baldur's Gate 3 moment. Ooh. No cause for alarm. 
An illustration of a burning city introduces this book's frenzied summary of Eltergard's, uh recent history. People of the Sword Coast, there's no cause for alarm. You've no doubt heard the harrowing events that befell the city of Elturel, an entire city dispatched to the Hells. Perhaps you've also heard of the deranged gossip and rumors uh, that a similar cataclysmic uh, atrocity may befall the city of Baldur's Gate. I have no fear the so-called holy city of Elturel has, in fact, long been a foul pit of devil worshippers from the ruling class uh, to the common folk. The citizens were all touched by the infernal. Whether it was in their blood from birth or they were seduced by its power, they were evil to their core. Elturel, El Elturel invites its own doom. Baldur's Gate is far from perfect, but anyone who believes the rot runs as deep as Elturel is either mad or an Elter Guardian propagandist. The Fists will defend our city with their very lives, and if they must, I promise you that no infernal conspiracies infect the minds and souls of our noble dukes and patriarchs. A history of contempt. We have all have we all but forgotten uh that before this madness, Elturel was infested with the undead. Should we forget the aggressive expansion of Eltergard? Uh, they they have never been our friends. Vigilance will protect us. Do not be alarmed. King Mani, thank you for these 27 months of tier one saying, Ah! Dig a dig a dig a hole, dig a dig a hole, dig a dig a dig a hole. Otto's irresistible dance, an acid vial, and some gold. Hello. Feast these days. Can't take a piss without a steel watch for help in the main. It's pathetic. I agree. I well met, citizen. Oh, I mean fellow citizen, I guess. Sorry. Not used to retirement. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Nolan. Don't Nolan Grayson. Mistra. She talks big for a short old dwarf. Those good old days weren't all rosy. Thucky. Sorry, pal. Table here is reserved for retired fists only. Veteran perk, you understand. Perk? Veteran? Here goes nothing. What is Talus? Featuring a deck of 70 to 80 cars, Talus occupies a place alongside chest and drafts as one of those games that uh, carbuncular gentlemen play over warming mugs of ale back at the tavern, uh, at the back of taverns, over vile behavioralist biscuits in the dining room corner of every uh, major familial celebration, including birthdays. It is a deck allowing the player access to games of vast strategic depth involving four suits in one trump suit called the Major Arcana. These games include Whist, Poker, Empire, uh, Elemental Empires, Old Wizard, and let's just make a card tower I could hardly see, uh... I've had that many pints of uh, ale. Uh, I've had that many pints, lads. <laughs> Jesus, Carlac. So you stopped queuing because you felt funny. I mean, yes, mostly. Why did you stop queuing then? I couldn't take standing. I was queuing with the others, and then I started feeling wrong. No thanks. The body is just gone too, so I can't even get the tadpole. You trying to get in too? I waited half a day and got nowhere. I gave up. Queuing for what? Var Sumbletude? I really need my hair doing, so you'll have to wait in line. This is wait. It, Oh, this is a boutique. Wob. Oi, you! Get in the bloody queue. I have people to speak to, unfortunately. Googe. How long do you think Master Pennygood expects us to wait? I'm bored already. I wonder if Master Pennygood is dead. Also, I notice that my quest marker is leading me into uh here. It's unusual for prey to supply the tools of its own butchery. Razors, Do you have a golden tongue? Scissors, nail files, so many cuts. 
one could make. And yet, such a fleeting window. But then, who am I to deny the auspices of destiny? For we are celebrating, Master Figaro. You have the delicious honor of being my crowning achievement. Are we going to do anything? Your body is my ultimate gift to my lord, Bar. Together, we shall... Oh, his tongue isn't gold, it's just the light. And a blades of magic incarnate. You're no match for me. Stop right there. Stealth, try to keep the shadows while the dwarf is distracted. Back off, that's my kill. Might not blades, but I am magic incarnate. You are no match for me. A challenger. My lord tests me. This piteous awful will be your grave challenger. Last time you pulled a Kage Bunchin no Jutsu. Oh, for God's sake! Wait. Why are all these people mad at me? To my sacrament. How fortunate. Jesus Christ. Paralysis last four. Yeah, she's just stuck there. I mean, if he's gonna try to escape, I should probably just be going for him, right? Eventually, he's going to get too far away, and I won't be able to catch him. Considering where we are, he's got- oh, he's got 22, okay. I think I want to use this fifth level spell slot just to- just to ensure that I take him down. 14 damage minimum, I think I could probably get him. Did I- what happened?! Did I miss?! Okay. I wonder if I hit the door. All right, got him. Three, good God. Jesus. 
Jeez, just knock him down already. I honestly can't tell what these people. Okay, could you just like wander far enough out where you're not blinded anymore? Thank you. Light these people up. If the I they're attacking me and the customers for some reason. Although no, these are definitely doppelgangers. Okay. Shield! Thank goodness she's not paralyzed anymore. So if you come out around here. Start swinging. Come on out here. Start shooting. I missed twice? Ow! My temporaries. Body blow. Just come over here and smack a guy. Smack him again. And then sometimes you just gotta throw stuff, you know? That's it. I missed! I hit the ceiling! <laughs> How much is this dealing? Not nearly enough. Not what I'm hoping for, anyway. Oh, for goodness sake, just move two inches! Can I just shoot him from here? No! Shit! You just like step in, step into the Grand Tour, Grand Tour, Grand Tour, step into the Grand Tour, Dragon Ball GT. Uh... Yo ho ho! Oh, I forgot about Wob. I'll show you what vo hello! What are you doing here? I thought Ah! Why would you do this? That's not- ah! she blinded? I move like two feet this way so that way you can actually get your throw in? Go on. Uh oh! to be lost, dear. I specialize in fashion, not potato sacks. I just saved his ass! What sort of fashion? I sell anything and everything needed to cultivate your countenance. A certain level of class is expected by my clientele. So if you wish to stay, I must insist you purchase some less depressing garments. But I just saved his life! You're in danger. A killer is after you. Huh. If looks could kill, Lord Gortash would have already hanged me. I wouldn't worry too much. 
This is undoubtedly some rumor cooked up by my many rivals. It's not a rumor. Your name is literally on a list of targets. Others, other people on it have already died. Well, I suppose if it's that elaborate a prank, it rules out my sister as the culprit. Carmen can barely organize her own shop. Never mind stage a murder mystery to meddle with me. Very well. I'll take my precautions. Thank you. Make haste. I have a very busy day of very demanding clientele ahead. What do you require? I met your sister. She didn't have a very high opinion of you. Well, the feeling is decidedly mutual. Her wares are a poor imitation of the clothing I have on offer here. If she would just accept my offer to work here, like father wanted, we could resolve all this bad blood. But no, too proud. Let me see what you got in stock. Very good, sir. Very good, sir. Sell dyes and clothes. Unfortunately, nothing enchanted. Angelic Scion outfit. Underwear. A variety of underwears. An Arctic purple outfit. Examine. Can't really try it on. Evil J. Bryce saying, very well, I should make preparation to protect myself. Be gone, aka you're gonna wind up dead in the next 10 minutes. Although, ap apparently they absolutely love me just because of everything that went down. The game really bugged out there, like... What is this? Oh, camp supplies. Inspiration points, party gold. Alright. Fashion's a... Fashion's a... Uh, where is that angelic scion outfit? And... <laughs> of course. Well, time to see who else would look good in it. Karlak? Oh, hell yeah! Wonder Woman! Perfect! <laughs> the perfect outfit for Astarian, Minthara's clothes! <sighs> One day I'll catch a break. We walk through all the blood. I don't have any short rests left. Lockpick. A dice class difficulty this high warrants some exploration. Ah! The basement key to this place. And Figaro's chest key, you say? Traveler's chest. I did not check to see if Dolor had anything good on him. Holy water! Might as well take it. I've got a whining puppy. Opulent chest, bronze goblet, Figaro's chest key, scroll of seeming, this globe of vulnerability. Where was this? Well, time to check out his basement. Although I also think it's time for me to take a break because I've got a dog whining at me. 
So yes, I shall be back in just a bit. Um, enjoy the the music of Baldur's Gate and the Face Maker's Boutique. See you in a bit. We're back. Apparently there's an entrance to the basement of this place, but I have yet to see it. Usually such entrances are reserved for under the stairs. Anything in the wall wardrobe? Well, what if you stole clothes from him, put them on, and then talked to him? And he was still like, Ugh, you're wearing such tacky clothes. Clothing. Current orders. For Lady Margaret Phage, one ball gown, cobalt in color, with bone uh, bodus and cuffs of ermine uh, cuffs. Uh, Lord of Ag uh, for Lord Agamir, a dress cape of velvet embroidered in gold with the city's warm weather foliage. Uh, for Miss Hamperstead, four identical servant dresses for her maid staff. White cuffs and collars, linen apron, and garments of usual fashion. Oh my god, wait a minute. Four, you say? Last, last will and testament of Julio Facemaker. I, Julio Facemaker, resident of Baldur's Gate, being of sound mind and well-manicured face, dress, and body, declare this to be my last will and testament. In writing this, I revoke all previous promises made verbal or otherwise. Any who contest the contents of this document will be excluded from it entirely. Um, to my daughter Carmen, I leave my fortune in gold, silks, and gemstones among my issue. You alone have earned it. To my child Figaro, I leave the management of my shop. A bit of honest labor would do him good. Bingo! Interesting! Gonna give that to the daughter. Bet I can crack that open. No, you can't. Astarian, on the other hand. Easy. Evil J. Brian with the 13 month steward saying, Why do I carry swords inside the tavern? Mimics the bartender laugh. I laugh. My party laughed. The table laughed. We killed the table. It was a good night. Don't pick pocket the metaphysical Tom. Ah, uh, some rings. I can pick them up and add them to wares. Oops. Disarm the trapped chest. Uh, pristine shoes. Uh, none of these are really worth taking. Pick them up and add them to wares, I guess. Although, are those the clothes that, like, somebody had ordered? Nice and easy. I was hoping there'd be a bit more to this, but... I suppose not. Blue stained research. Thieves tools? Thankfully, Lady Phage has provided a second bursary for my research into the perfect cobalt, a color which she believes so suits her complexion she will pay any amount to see it recreated in dress, scarred, and veil. My research has led me to Kalimshan, where reside the realm's finest purveyors and innovators of pigment. While I cannot make the journey myself, I've written to one Habir Ashmad, believed to be the uh, finest colorsmith in Toral and Tyre. He responded hopefully, saying this dis the discovery of a certain type of sea mollusk has yielded promising results. Creature produces a dark ink that, when combined with acid, produces a rich cobalt blue so beautiful it may even please the discerning eye of Lady Phage. Deep lilac blue, weave moss, dye, dye. I don't think there's anything else around here. However, what I do have is the last will and testament of their father. And considering everything, I don't think the daughter saw it. Heck is that noise? Just What's the matter, bug? Help myself. He did have some good stuff on him. Scarlet leather armor gains a plus one to stealth. Handbag. Duke Stelmane's hand, Father Lorgren's hand. Out oh my god! 
This is all the evidence we need. This is how he was able to get around from place to place. It's a handbag. Karabasin's gift, strong paralytic poison, supreme healing. Let's get that. Let's get the potion of invisibility. Torn and bloody page. The following text is printed haphazardly on a torn bloody page titled Dirge of the Unholy Assassin. Neath Can Candle Hollow's quiet tombs lies a path to murder's boons. If entry down below is your aim, seek trigger hidden by a frame. Sycorus, the door awaits. To admit those who seek their fate, if to continue you insist, show a trophy rent from wrist of sacrifice for Lord is plan. Present Death's Knight a bloodied, a smear of blood. Uh, obscures the poem's final word. I think it might be hand. An odd password, but all right. Once it works, I suppose. Impress the murder tribunal. Well, I think we've, we've got done enough with the murder tribunal to impress them. That doesn't rhyme? Well, hand does. Dolor Amaras. When you land a critical hit with a weapon or unarmed attack, deal an additional seven damage. And a dagger plus two. I think the rest of this stuff is at least good to add to wares. Oswald that ends Walt. If not over, then through. Is that the edge of the Yes it is. That's how to get to Baldur's Gate proper. What's up for discussion? You want a copy of this rag? Gold. Make it quick. It's the attitude. My stupid dad makes me sell these shite rags. Pillock. If you want one, it's gold. Pillock? Uh, you're selling newspapers? Yeah. The best one in town. Also, the only one in town. You want a copy? Gold. Ah, the Baldur's Mouth Gazette. The Baldur's Mouth Gazette. When the mouth barks, the fist bites. Uh, I forget the real slogan, but you get the idea. Now, buy a copy, or leave. Sorry, I don't want one. So, you're still standing here, why? Listen here, you little piece of shite! <laughs> Swarmy swaggerer boots. Are we looking at the graffiti? That graffiti from before. I never thought I'd see it again. Why did it stand out? Well, I think I was the one who did it. I can recognize my own handwriting. How long ago was this? Years? You're a half elf, so decades maybe. All the time I spent training. Hidden away from the world. I think... I think I must have wanted to leave my mark somewhere. Just to prove I existed. Even to myself. I, 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 I kind of wish we had a bit of a beehive. Honeycomb! Sweet, sweet honeycomb! Messenger rat. There's creeps in cloaks creeping around down in the sewers. Good message, messenger rat. Anyway, I've got this woman's uh Actually where where I don't remember where the uh the uh. Evil J Brown with Bitsy. I think I'll open up a shop in Baller's Gate, one that specializes in odd magical items. Such as the handbag of holding. The bag is made of hands and it gives a bonus to grapple and climbing checks. Uh, where was the... Where was the... Other woman's shop? Where did I come in from?
Back before Worms Crossing. Bakken Rivington. Shoving foes into chasms may kill them instantly, but it could cause you precious loot. Just like if I were to shove, um... What's his name? Co, Co Carnage into the river. Near Shares's caress, okay. Well, I gotta go back here anyway, because I did the fireworks factory too. I think. Uh, find the entrance to Enser's lair and confront Lord Gortash. Open Hand Temple, our first mansion. Did I have to... Wait, hold on. Because I did the... Baldur's Gate. Okay, free the artist. Oscar left for Baldur's Gate. Who knows? Maybe we'll see him there. Okay, Avenge the Iron Hands. Crush the Gondians. Find Dribbles the, cr uh, the Clown. Wasn't there... Did I already do... Save Vanra. At Basilisk gave him a distraught lore. She claims her daughter uh, Vanra is missing. And she vanished. Uh, the pair were in the blushing mermaid. She begged for help. Stop the presses. Find Mole. Investi I, I guess I've already done the thing with the with the fireworks and the explosives. Ah, fiery friend. We learn that Gortash is currently being ordained as the Arch Archduke, Arch Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Get Oren's Netherstone. Rescue Oren's victims. We defeated a Steel Watcher. Gortash has fewer mechanical lackeys protecting him. Steel Watch. Uh, investigating the Steel Watch may be a good approach. And a hand, got a bag full of hands and a poem with a passphrase on it from a dwarf dressed in red. Mentioned Candle Hollow's tombstones, murder, and a holy assassin. Perhaps this is how we can face the, uh, the murder tribunal. Investigate the murders. We stole a poem in the past phrase. Perhaps these instructions were to, were, were to find the murder tribunal. Okay. Get Gortash's Netherstone and the Elder Brain stuff. Okay. Play the Frontiers. Get the Yankee Warrior. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, Goms, Goms. Carms, Garms. There we go. I'm wondering if this is... I think that is some... I, I can't tell if I can go any lower than that, but still. I don't remember if she had any, like, issues with... Hello, Carmen. Welcome back to Carms Garms. We've got clothes for you. Uh, arms? Um, what do you need? Uh, Patter still needs a bit of work. Maybe less rhyming. I already told you, if Patter's your main interest, go see my brother. My focus is good clothing for a good price. Uh, can I do anything with the, with the, the will I got there? Sounds good. Get you something a bit. Remember, calm's gone. Well, I guess I'll just leave the will here. Wait, I did take the will, didn't I? There it is. Oops. I seem to have dropped the last will and testament of Julio Facemaker. All right, uh, don't day. Hmm. 
me go. Excuse me. Let me go here. If there's no barrier, it isn't important. Damn. I just need to come back here so I can take a look at the map so I can see where I'm where where I am to go for a few of these things. Cazador's Palace. Uh investigate the blushing mermaid. Let's start with that. Uh Does he say anything about the And I'll go back behind here. Can't slow down. Would seem so. Okay. Lavernica's home. Hello, Laverne. Hey, rat trouble? I get, like... The funny thing is, is that it's not red, which means I can just legally lockpick this. And nobody will care. Hi, big guy. Hi, big guy. It's question. Oh! Oh! How much Yikes! Let's see what Park keepers' chores? Check for fallen branches and block path, path, polish benches, unlock gates, clean pond, rake leaves, pest control. We painted that one. Repaint signage, final rounds, and lock up. Okay. Let's have a look. Nothing on him. Wait, what the? Molly wine gobs, poison chops, piebald, uh, pensensa. Doing a duck. Fa Are all these named? There's a headless dude here. Nothing on piebald. What the frick? Oh, there's a hatch! Sigh! Pleasure. Oh yeah, I can't speak with dead. Let's get going. I don't think he's got anything to say, though. The corpse does not respond. Man, poison that muddles the soul. Okay. So, there is so much going on here. There's a dead... There's a dead earth elemental that's not quite showing up. A plus one great sword. Look at all this. Moving in. Is a circle. I'm gonna steer clear of the circle. Sacrifice or some kind of display. The corpse remains silent. What? But isn't that what the glow means? Is that I can talk to it? Iron banded shield plus one. Incontinental figgin. Martin. What happened here? Nobody has anything. I'm afraid to walk into the middle of the circle. What's inside? I oh, wow, really? Judging by the state of the leg, this must be part of the clown. The effigy of Sendai who made herself many. What use her multitudes? She thought herself a warrior, but only her blood soaked in the soil. Below is an exaggerated signature written in blood or in the red. Okay, this makes a lot more sense now. I'm taking the letter with me. Seems there, there is so much to take in here. Joseph the ferret. Flu Martina be Martells? What 
What is the point of this area? Okay. We 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 press on. Jesus Christ. I'm waiting to open one of these and somebody be inside. And be like, "Hey! Fuck off!" Uh, Laura's home. Laura? I know. You're here. Does this mean you found my daughter? The flaming fish still have no clue. Useless twats! Not yet. Please. Don't give up on her. Alright, I thought Laura looked familiar. I need to know more about your daughter. Splatters do lug. Okay, where I'm trying to go west here. Beehive goods and wares. Show me the eggs with the 141 bit saying, I mean, you already got the South Park game treatment walking in on the bugbear and the orc while back. That's true. But I walked in on something so much worse. Beehive General Goods. Oliver Tefoco. What are you after, friend? Got grub, potions, a few nice vintages? Best stock up now before someone clears me out to fill their larder. <laughs> hey, let's see what you have. Uh, trade. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to just straight up sell the wares. I wanted to barter. I kind of wish I could organize my stuff by weight here, because there's a lot of stuff I do not need. He doesn't even have that much money! Summon us. Oh wait, Infernal Iron is different from Infernal Metal. Well, I'll sell it anyway. Here, have some news articles, my friend. Silvery ingots. Uh, I don't know why I just have a loot. Nothing special about the loot, just just a loot. Got some revivify scrolls, some basilisk oil, some simple toxins. Potions. I got plenty of potions. Remedial potion. Wasn't that loot a gift from the bard girl? I guess I'm not selling it then. In fact, I'll equip it. Balance the offer and barter. Uh, you don't have any like weapons or anything, so we're done here. They say there's trouble heading for the city. Oh, man. There's a... Okay, hold on. Sir, may I, might I have a word with you back back this way? Best victuals and cures in the lower city guaranteed. What'll it be? Oops. Oh, God. Let's see. No one saw that. Lock pick. All right. Now is, yeah, I'm still in conversation. Uh, uh, uh. Are they all up? No, they're. Uh, uh huh. Best be on my way. 
That's a friendly looking shadow. Successful distraction. Final delivery. Let's see. Hey, bud, what are you doing? Oliver Tofoko, the Beehive. We regret to report that we're suspending deliveries of food and dry goods until shipments can uh, once more freely enter the city. Today's delivery is the final one until the situation improves. Rest assured when deliveries can resume, all our valuable customers will be apprised in a timely fashion. Martinev uh, for Durenbold and Othun pr uh, provisioners. A memory book? Diary filled with anecdotes throughout a child's life spanning 20 years. I stubbed my toe and he laughed so hard he farted. Found a dead rat and insisted we take it home for a proper burial. Came home from school in tears because a rude child scared a butterfly off a flower. White bread, white bread. Can't believe they bleached their bread That's here too. Feet. I wonder if... Man, it seems like I could just like get in there. Burlap sack, a ball, a wall. Anything of use? Mergrass. The fact that we've got a collapsible wall here is in. very interesting to me. An adamantine mace. Attention. <sighs> Oi, what you doing? Why are here destroyed my wall? Looking ahead. What's hiding here? Ah! Oh, consider it. Uh, Starion gets that, and I get the gold. I need to find a way forward. Goes nothing. I don't, I don't blew it up. I blew it all up. What was it? What was my best out here? Steel Watcher. The Watcher made of steel. I need to go west where those fists are headed. Uh, Rainforest's home. It is locked. We have to go back to the counting house. What were you thinking? Uh, don't be a dry shit. This uniform's neat, isn't it? But why am I? <gasps> oh, wait. <laughs> I had a shift at the counting house. Oops. <laughs> I'm off the clock, do Carl. Or I would be if it weren't for this blithering idiot. If you've got business at the counting house, it's just down the road. I can't believe I have the opportunity to heist a bank. She looks like she's wearing a like a, a fallout jumpsuit. Keep bloody wits about you in here. The captain is trying to keep it hush hush. But I heard a kid got nabbed. If it was yeah, a kidnapping. I know uh, I know this child is called Vanra, right? Knew it. No wonder Captain Grizzly shoots daggers at anyone who mentions it. My guess it's them squatters. Spotted a bunch of misfits sneaking into one of them boarded up houses. Ugh, animals. Lord Gortash will find that kid and sort all this out. Just you wait. Lord, Lord Gortash is put a, put a, uh, a hit piece out on me. Svend. Neshalisha. Dared me to come here alone for a couple of mugs of ale. So here I am. What? That seems like a weird dare. You should make yourself scarce as a killer on the loose and you're a target. Huh. Come on, mate. Who would want me dead? Uh, please listen to me. Others have already died. You're in danger. 
Ooh, look at that charisma score. Ooh, look at that charisma score. Oh shit. You're serious. I can see it in your eyes. I've got to shit. I've got a tab to settle. Shit. Alright, alright. Shit! Shit! With some places, one visit is enough. Huh. What? Come on, mate. Who would want me dead? What? What? I could just do this again? Look, mate. Do and now. With some places. And she just didn't believe me? Wondrous news. Baldur's Gate has a new duke. Gortash will do marvelously. Don't you think? <laughs> you do not want me answering that honestly. Sven! You're going on a date? Are you joking? The city is a hair's breadth from violence, and we're shipping off at first light. So? I'll be back by then. Mate, you'd be late to your own funeral. Look. Skip the date, and I'll take you out the next time we port, all right? Her eyes shine with concern and love. That of more than a friend. Interesting. Aramis the absolute could attack you moment, and you're worried about a date? Someone clearly loves and worries about you. You should listen to her. Ooh, ooh, am I gonna be that guy? Am I gonna be that guy where it's like they're, they're not ready to express their feelings, so I'm just gonna barge in? And push their their feelings over the edge here. <gasps> Let's do it. Love. Uh, well, I I wouldn't go that far, but yeah, I'm worried about you, mate. Ship wouldn't be the same without you. Oh come on. You know I'm a sucker for that soppy shit. Fine, no date. But let's say we grab another one here for the road. My treat. Deal. Thank you. So, where are you? Nowhere, if you don't finish your drinking. Get more alien. These Buddy. Are drinking us dry. What's the matter? Do you need to go outside? I'll be right back. Oh yeah, I did kill, I, I did just knock out Dolor, didn't I? Play Sir Varen. If you had to choose the rat one or the blonde one, which should I? Which would you choose? What are you talking about? Shh. Red one or blonde one? Red, it's an easy choice. You're right. You're so right. Bosun, a red ale, please. Hi, right, Bosun. No pissing or shitting. If you break it, you pay for it. Any fighting and Captain Grizzly or sank you. Got it? Off all the rules. Good. Welcome to the Blushing Mermaid. If you're here to complain that the booze tastes like piss, I know. Anything else? Uh, I'm hearing about the missing girl, Vanra. Gods above. Not again. You pull a knife on me like the last one and you're getting a boot, you hear? Who pulled a knife on you? That woman, Lara, Laura, whatever her bloody name is. She was screaming her head off about some kid. Tore the place apart. Ooh, bloody disturbing. Captain Grizzly had to clock her in the end. Threw her out on her arse. Good riddance. Maybe the captain knows more. Tipple some patron. Actually, just leave me to burn. 
Bloody hangover. Carton Grizzly. Bloody. Mm. Can't a captain be bloody hungover in peace? Oh. Why, hello there. Captain Grizzly <clears throat> at your service. What can I do for a long drink of water like yourself? Well. <laughs> well then, what services do you offer? Oh, there's drinks of plenty at the bar. Anything else? Well, those days are behind me. Even for one as fine looking as yourself. I'm here. Doesn't a captain need a ship? You're standing in it, smart ass. Or our innards, at least. <laughs> she may not sit on water no more, but she'll always be my ship. Hear about a missing girl, Vanra? Oh, not this claptrap again. Listen, Laura was here, all right? Knocking back pints like there's no tomorrow, but she was alone. I saw head nor ass of this so-called kid. And when we tried to kick her out, she pulled a knife on my front man. Bet she didn't tell you that bit, huh? If Laura's daughter isn't here, then where is she? <sighs> not a notion. But not a soul has seen this so-called vanner of hers, myself included. Look, I know Laura from my pirating days. She ran with Bart Black Dagger's crew. Heard they tossed her overboard when she gutted the bosun over a game of cards. Now, I'd no beef with her before this. All are welcoming the maid. But threatening my staff, claiming we took her kid, she's bonkers. <laughs> Dangerous. Next time she pulls a knife on me and mine, someone might die. Something has to be done. I'll talk to her, see if I can calm her down. <laughs> Life has taught me that chatter doesn't cut it. She's dangerous. And I couldn't call myself a captain if I stood by and did nothing. I hate that it's come to this, but I'll pay a hoard of gold to whoever scuppers her. Permanently. Jesus! I need to think about it. Well, don't take too long. Or someone else might get there before you. Well then. I could close the maid early, but then the bosun would be grumpy. Oh, oh, oh. Todd Whetstone! Wanna hear a hot one? The other day, I met some folks who banded together to fight back. Against what, you ask? Hags. How stupid can you get? Hmm. I wonder if there's more to this place. Slog! Slog! If you're some big fan of Duke Gortash, turn your ass around and walk. Preferably straight into the Arbor Waters. Bruno Indomic Indomicus. Word of advice. Don't open a tab here. I didn't pay for 16 C months, and suddenly it's work off your debt or lose a limb. Not a bit of reason on them. Seems like it wasn't for that long, though. A disguise kit. Now why would that be in here? Hmm. Ah. What if we hear a cellar door? Get in there. The blushing mermaid's basement. There'll be some gold up here. Don't quite need to hide anymore right now, though, so we're good. Softer than a whisper. Although, where did I... Where did I come from? 
Cellar door, door. Just out of view. Wait, what? Stop that. <laughs> Hmm. There's gold up there. And they put it up there because they want me to get it. But what? Really? I'm bringing someone else! What path lies before me? I should speak. Jahara! From me to judge Gale for playing coy with Mistra. Join me. Flattered as I am. Take Shadowheart's place. Uh, Halson. I my chosen successor, Francesca, has proven to be a wise choice. Perhaps the wisest I ever made as Archdruid. Don't play it. Don't play your achievements. The Shadow Curse would still hold sway if not for you. One grand victory may not be enough to absolve a host of small failures. That is where true leadership lies. Not in winning a single vast battle, but in fighting a thousand smaller ones, making 10,000 difficult decisions, finding balance where none seems possible. Day after day, I was all too eager to surrender my responsibilities towards the Grove. <laughs> Perhaps I was never meant to be Archdruid. To be a leader. Uh, you could resume your position at the Grove once you defeat the Absolute. I thought that would be the case once. Yet. Perhaps the Grove will not need me. Forgive me. The Shadow Curse occupied me so entirely and for so long. I almost missed the purpose it gave me. Now I must find a new one. I need you by my side. Your ranks are full. You will Swap out with Garlac. This crap too dangerous even for Mistra. But join me. To join, but I don't Swap out with Astarian. Why do I have all? What do I? I've got so much stuff. By weight. By God, I've got so much gold! I've also got a leg! My alchemical supplies are so heavy! Send a camp. I'll figure it out later. Because they gave me all their money, that's why I'm, I'm... That's why I'm in such dire straits. I'm switching so that way we can get... I'm anger! I had hoped there might be a greater sense of balance within the city. That its walls might enable sheltering within it to foster... Community. Peace. Yet it is not so. Unnatural steel beings patrol the streets. The printed word sows discontent, and those in need are treated with disdain. You saw how they wish to burn the clothes of a child, as if being crammed in this very city is not the cause of lice and disease. Sometimes it is difficult to see exactly what we are fighting to save here. Sometimes it feels like Korga was right. Nature can only survive away from all this. I don't think you truly feel that way. You have always believed in balance. I do. But at times like this, it can feel like an impossible dream. I was harsh on myself before. On my leadership of the Grove. The decisions I made. <laughs> Perhaps too harsh, considering this place. All right. Okay. Leave. 
Oh my god, Halson. Mistra has forsaken Gale entirely. A crushing blow. But he is strong enough to persevere, I think. All right. Is that is that everything? Okay. I need to get people who could who could beat this investigation check. They can't come with me on my on my journeys. Gail and Lizelle. What's on your mind? Join me. Oh, nothing would give trade places with Jahira. <laughs> where is Lizelle? Actually, where is Lizelle? Alson will. Is she not in the party anymore? I thought, like, there was something that eliminated her from the party, right? She's been kidnapped, that's right. Alright, well, I'm gonna level up Gale and give him the feat that, that'll give him skill and investigation. That's an intelligence check, right? He's level 12 right now, so I can just give him investigation. Disintegrate. Uh. And flesh to stone. Skilled? He already has investigation! It's raining. Manatee probably wants to come inside right now. Especially considering thunder just struck. Oh, what would be good for him? Ability improvement score, plus two to intelligence. He's a wizard, he casts through that. Ah! Oh. Not now, Halson! I'm quick saving before I leave. That might be worth a look. Aha! A fake wall. Finally. Shadow heart. Mistra has forsaken Gale entirely. A crushing blow. But he is strong enough to persevere, I think. Isn't that exactly what Halson said? It seems like you have ample c wonderful. Kalak Wonder Woman Wow. So that was Mistra. Pretty spectacular stuff. But I think Gail was right not to agree to do her bidding, no questions asked. I respect the gods, but they don't always understand what they're asking of us. Maybe immortality makes it hard to know what it's like to be one of us piggies. Proud of Gail, though. It takes some man to hold his own in front of the divine. Uh, come on, we're heading out. No room in your party. Trade it's places with Will. <laughs> Astarian! So, Gale's hedging his bets with Mistra? I can't say I blame him. Who'd want to hold a power like the Crown of Carsus in their hands just to hand it to someone else? I know what my decision would be. 
But we're all different, of course. You are covered in blood. Well, obviously I would. But, well, in that case... Halson can step aside. All right, back in we go. That is a vibrant red dye. What a day. A crooked touch. Lockpick. What's the name? Oh no. Oh for God's sake, this again? Okay. On my way. I didn't bring any- I don't think I brought any of those masks with me. This place. Why does it remind me of Auntie Ethel's home? Just avoid that trap. How delicious. Can you get rid of these traps for me? Go this way. I think it's hailing. Mask of Terror, Mask of Vengeance, Mask of Certitude, and Captain Grizzly. What the heck? Then who's up top? Well, they didn't notice him, so that's good. Oh, but he's in broad light right now. Well, if I can... I want Auntie to be my wife. Oh, man. Be careful. There are traps about. I'm wondering if I should knock them out. A wooden wall. I love you so much. The baby must be so happy with Auntie. I am. Today. X marks the spot. Gonna dig the lot. I want hmm. I'm gonna opt to. No one stopped me yet. I'm gonna opt to not attack them and just like and just press onward. Beautiful. If I could find, oh boy. If I could find the cause of this, maybe I can maybe I can help them before I even uh without even having to encounter them. There are traps about. Yeah, you saw one and you ran right into it. I don't know what that was about. Well, there's loathing, burlap sack. Actually, considering everything, I should probably long... Mm, actually, it might... 
Am I in a position where I can long rest? Will I skip everything if I, you know what? Let me, let me quick save here, long rest, and then I'll come back into this and see if I miss everything like I did that one time. Um better not be cursed. End the day. Anybody wanna talk? No. How fortuitous. Uh oh, wait. You sleep, but the wicked don't. Someone is here to disturb your rest. Get the hells away from me! I thought it was Mizora. Brother, we're here to take you home. The master needs all seven of us for the ceremony. Come with us and be reborn. We'll live again. How did you find us? Master Kazador has known where Astarian was this entire time. He knew he would return. The right. The master needs him. He must attend. Oh, I'm well aware of what the Master needs. But don't we deserve better? Better? What do you mean, better? After all these centuries of torment, I know what you all want. More than power. More than to walk in the sun. You want to see him dead. The right of profane ascension will be mine. And he won't see a scrap of its glory. I am going to complete the ritual as the Ascendant, and then I am going to kill him! This is your chance. Stand with me. Name me your new master. We will get our revenge. And you will all live again. His liar's smile spells danger. He knows full well that his kin will die in the ritual, but if any of the bearers of the Scar die before the ritual begins, he will lose his chance to perform the rite himself. He needs them to run willingly to their deaths, thinking they stand a chance against their master. Uh... He's free of Kazador's command. You should follow him. He will save you. God, I am so good at lying to people! You're free of him. Petros was right. You've changed. Maybe you could complete the ritual. Maybe you could free us. Perhaps we can get back at Kazador and finish the ritual. The Seven can unite and... Oh. The bonds hold. He owns us. We have no choice. We must obey. Get out of here, Astorian. Before. All right. I need to be very, very careful. <laughs> also, are we still? I won't give in. We do not have the benefits of a long rest right now. Time for a couple. Oh, I've got the wrong weapon out. Well, I could take my turn to run up this way and then switch to it. There we go. Ah, she could have thrown it, but whatever. Cut and run. What? Go, you ding dong, go up here. What should I do? That missed, unfortunately. Oh. Oh, what should you do? Only the greatest thing ever. Come right up here and cast level four spirit guardians right in the center of them all. Yeah. 
Well, I didn't mean to go that far. Why did she take- oh, be wait, why did she take damage? Shield blow! You did dubby. Eba bulldobby dobby bulba. Not quite. The party's just begun. Your athletics fail you. Oh, jeez! Oh, I killed one! One blew up into dust. I think I saved before this. Watch this. I'm going to enjoy this. Action surge. Okay, non lethal did nothing. Oh, no, 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 over there! Is he threatened? I don't think he's threatened. Talk to me. Fourth level! Damn it! They're not dying, it's fine. Ow, what? Body blow. <sighs> what a mess. Well, at least you've met my family now. Can't believe how you lied to them. You know they have to die for the right to happen. Had we killed them, Kazador wouldn't be able to complete the right. He wouldn't throw away centuries of planning on a scrap like this. They were pulled back just in time. <gasps> Cortelli! He will be furious. <laughs> and he'll be even more furious when I get to that crypt and stop him. For what it's worth, thank you. No matter what happens down there, you helped me stand up against him. Okay, and I've- uh, the- the spell is gone right- it's still there! The spell is still going. Please nobody run into it. Switch back to him, please stop focusing on that- okay, thank goodness. Whoo! Thank you for the raid, Cortelli! Here come the countermeasures! A horrible 3D model of the Tom face that I made back when I was in college. And this is the only image of it. Prepare to die. <laughs> oh, what was Cortilli do- WHAT HAVE YOU DONE?! Anyway, what was Cortilli doing? Breathe deep, and move. I'll give it a shot. Amogus! Anyway, my name is Tom Fox, I'm a streamer here on Twitch. Uh, I've played, uh, I've played plenty of games with Cortilli before. Like Amogus. Like the Mogus. And uh, we're playing Baldur's Gate 3 because I really want to get through this game, but I'm like... Oh, I completed Stop the Presses because the, uh, yeah! Let me see, let me see, let me see. Stop the Presses, Stop the Presses. There we go. Uh, the Baldur's mouth headlines won't be mentioning us at all, leaving our reputation intact. Yeah. And secret Minecraft. Bingo! Empress Alay, thank you for giving a tier one sub to Cortilli. 
Okay, uh, that's right. And then I long rested specifically so I can go through here. Astarian, would you be so kind as to pick the lock? Ooh! Oh, critical success, okay. I thought I just made it. I put cat videos in the newspaper. Well, I was viciously mocked initially. I don't see anybody in here, but this does seem like it's a... Uh, like a hag is going to be here. You should mind my step. I really should. It's very swampy under Boulder's Gate. A gnarly cauldron. It's very hag-like down here. There's a ribcage. What the heck do we got over here? A wait a, a a pearl spore bell healing pearl at the what at the start of this turn this mushroom keeps is keeping Auntie Ethel alive and regains all of its hit point unless some effect prevents it from a uh, restorative healing. Interesting. What's the matter, bug? You were outside. You oh you you haven't been fed yet actually. I think we are gonna take a quick break here just so I can feed my dog. Uh, giving him some, uh, giving him some of those, those, those kibbles and nibbles that he needs. See you in a bit. All right. Uh. Actually, I'm wondering if I should start taking these out now. They restore health way too quickly. Let's see. I killed you! Ha! Did you think you were the first? That I didn't plan for it, Petal? That said, I'm shocked and appalled, Petal. I can't believe you tried to gush me out in the open like that. After all, it's not just me anymore. I... What is it they say? Eating for two. You're pregnant? How are you back? I killed you! Ha! Marina ran off with the child I was promised. Because of you. So I had to find myself a new one. A red sits in my belly, growing fresh with power. In time, I'll vomit her up and have myself a fresh young hag to train. I have your feet, so do the heroic thing. Die. What? All right, well, I got rid of one mushroom. I just got to get rid of the other two and hag pregnancy. Oh, she sees us. The hag has eaten a child to transform into a new killing. The hag will lead to the child's death. Interesting. Well, in her lair, the hag doubles her magic resistance. Shoot, and how do I save this? How do I save this woman? How do I save this child? I think I need a cesarean her. Or I need to get her some, uh, some epicac. I knew I should have taken them out sooner. Oh, 
Well, that's new. Oh, I go so late, so late in this. Does throwing count towards non uh, non lethal damage? What's your what's y'all's favorite animated movie? Might won't be Spirit. I mean, it's technically not fully animated, but um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? I think is is a cinematic masterpiece. Throwing is lethal. Okay. It's... <sighs> yeah! I'm gonna knock out all the, all the thralls. Just to make this a touch easier, just a touch. I actually want to see if I can hypnotic pattern them in a way that will have to keep going. stop them from functioning for a, for a good while here. close as possible. And then that stops them from acting, right? Eighty five. Oh, here's open. They all failed and they're all hypnotized, okay. Cutting action dash. For some reason his movement is doubled. I didn't even realize that was active there. Bingo! Start Bloom Vedic with 43 months of tier one. Let's move. I don't really have any comes, I'm ready. actions to do here. Dash. Go as far as possible. Probably gonna stop it. Yeah, right around there. What's the story? Jesus, she could jump. Dash. Get right up on them and turn. The environment goes. They're still hypnoticized. Hello, you. Uh, can he reach? Maybe? What did I- what did I do? I attacked- I attacked my own guy. I- What? What- why did I do that?
I think I, I think when I, I I clicked attack and then I clicked uh, the metaphysical Tom's portrait, so he attacked him. I want Auntie to be my wife. Another step forward. I can non-lethal them though. That's uh, that's definitely a thing. I tried to go into turn-based mode here. I am. I am able to get them all. For Auntie! Yeah! All right, they're all hypnoticized. Captain Grizzly's the big one. Let's unchain here because I want I'm ready. her to kind of fall back a little bit. There we go. Captain Grizzly. No, no, no. So this is it. So the Captain Grizzly that's that's in the Blushing Mermaid. It's a fake Captain Grizzly. I won't give in. It's actually probably Auntie Ethel. The one down here is under the influence of a mask. Actually, I want to. I just want to check the order real quick here. Why can't I see the turn order? Oh, because uh, because he's not in the turn order. Another fight. Let's go. Uh. Well, this will be interesting. Okay. Uh, attack? I did not do a lot of damage at all. I might as well do as much damage to this guy as possible. Missed. Missed it! Alright, this guy gets... Um... What is te uh, Curse of Terror? Fear. I don't think I need to. Yeah, she saved on that. Ooh, a monk. Okay, how much health do they have left? 19. Oh, I wish... Okay, well, I, I can't do anything like that yet, but... At the very least, I can get right next to this guy? Woo! Start cleaning Captain Grizzly's clock. I just gotta be very, very, very careful. I already jumped, so... And we are on non-lethal, so as long as I, I throw spear, or as long as I jab spear, I should be fine. Jab spear. Good. Action surge. Jab spear. Oh, the calculations missed! Oh, we could have gotten her if I just... Ah! Anyone not done anything yet? He is threatened, so I'm getting crit for this. I only want to do the main hand attack. Oh, maybe I didn't get crit for that. Well, then... She can't do anything else. Oh, good. Neither can she. Um. 
I don't really- I, I could do Hypnotic Pattern again, but my allies will get caught in that. Oh, I could Careful Spell it. Careful Spell, Hypnotic Pattern. Is that only for damage? Allies automatically seed saving throws, okay. Or I could just walk up and try to hit this guy. Four damage isn't a lot. Three on a critical hit. Command halt. Prevent a creature at all, preventing from moving or taking any type of action. Level one enchantment. I'm counterspelling it. Curse of Terror on Astarian. Attack an enemy. Attack an enemy as a reaction. Right? <laughs> Right? <laughs> like I just do a weapon attack and I knock them out? Right? Oh, there we go, okay, knocked out. Oh, he's still frightened though, okay. Uh, Shank the Captain? Fall, damn you. No, please do not poison the Captain. Not gonna be able to get close enough. I, I highly doubt this will kill. Yikes! I still did a lot. Let's cut your fire, baby. Cry about it. All right. Huh? That's strange. Vengeful strike. I'd never seen that ability before. Karlak, Vengeful. Uh, Vengeful Strike, lace your attacks with vengeance. Hidden within you, attack roll man- Oh, it's a reaction, there we go, that's what I was looking for. Okay. Let's finish this. Um, I think we're all good. Oh, and she was still hypnoticized, okay. How much health? 58. I'm a little- Oh, actually, he's not, a. Uh, he's not engaged, so I'm not sneak attacking here. No, do not crit. Do not crit! Let's go. Are we still- I would like to enter turn-based mode, please! Oh god, Karlak, please pick her up! Why can't I move her? Is it because she's not a corpse? You deserve to feel beautiful. My darling, your letter just about broke this old woman's heart. Bucktooth bird, they called you those monsters. Meet me at the Blushing Mermaid, and together we'll sort all this out. You deserve to feel beautiful, Petal. And I and only I can make that happen. Lots of love, Auntie. Is she gonna be fine? She's underwater. I can save your child. You've been a silly thing, sweetie. Did I not warn you? Did I not tell you death was coming for wife and child both? But you didn't listen, and now the love of your life is rotting in the ground. I can't save her, but your babe, your sweet little babe who is the image of her, I can save him, if you're willing to pay the price. Hmm? Cotton Grizzly, what was... Uh, counting... Counting house... Number one key. 
Interesting. Send to the metaphysical Tom. Ransom note. My dear sweet cat and grizzly, I've heard stories about you and what tales they were of mighty battles and magnificent sea monsters. There's a woman who'll never be caught with her knickers down. Or so I thought. Imagine my surprise when I nabbed your precious bosun gannet from under your nose. And so easily. He's quite the resilient little bu uh, bugger. Hasn't said a peep about you. But he'll break. They always do. Meet me in the Blushing Mermaid's basement and come alone. Lots of love, auntie. Said leather armor plus one. The salty, the salty scimitar, parentheses. <laughs> plus two weapon enchantment. Oh, that's so good. And the mask of terror. A modeled key. Auntie. They showed up again, just like you said they would. They robbed me, stripped me naked, and then pissed on me right in front of everyone. Some people laugh, others look away, but no one helped me. Not one person, except you. I'll do it. I'll cook your meals, make your bed, wash your feet, anything you want, so long as you hurt them. So long as you make them scream. I just have one request. Can I watch? Have a lot on my mind. Don't piss off, people. Piss on them. These boots have seen everything. Hello? Is there a... Aha! Come back over here! Got to get you up on that mushroom there. All right, well, I missed those, but oh God. Keep your distance, darling. Astarian. Oh, is he having not enough space? All right. What now? Traps. How considerate. Disarm them, Astarian, dar darling. Oh my goodness, it's almost like there was another trap here waiting for me. Arcana checks, eh? No one. Don't waste a step. Damn it. Did everyone fail it? Certainly, it can't be that bad. Trouble now. Oh wait, no, I wanted. There we go. Easy. Certainly, nothing bad will happen, right? Someone doesn't like visitors. Oh my goodness, there was a trap. Elixir of Vigilance. Oil of Diminution. Dimin diminution. Um, pick up and add to wares. Why not? At least things have stayed interesting. Vitriol of Shadow Sack Root, a gnarly cauldron. No thanks. Well, I guess I don't know enough about it. Oh, Mind Flare Parasite Specimen. Don't mind if I do. Keep a blade close. Not me, Astorian! Uh, when you bring a creature down, fewer... Hit points, then your number of evolved lithid powers, it dies, and all nearby creatures take, uh, 1d4 psychic damage. That's pretty dang good! Considering he can kill very efficiently. Very effectively. Still breathing, despite everything. What path lies before me? 
The cauldron doesn't seem to be anything for now. I may need more information. Wait, are they alive? <gasps> they got burned! They got burned in the explosion with the flowers! Let's move. What's next? Do you have the revivify spell? Uh, oh no. Can't give up now. Corpse too damaged! Well, that was the one who wanted to watch people get tortured, so I'm not too hung up about it. Trust no one. It should be easy. Is that blood? All right. These boots have seen everything. I'm actually kind of curious about. Well, she's not. Okay, so she's not in here yet. At least I don't think she is. We know. I know the mushrooms will heal her. Uh, when they do, there will be hell to pay. Gnarly cauldron. Yuck. Fever. Trying to see if there's any way to uh Trying to see if there's any way to save the child. Well, that's uh convenient. Well, I could go topside and confront the fake Auntie Ethel, which is honestly prob- or sorry, the fake, uh, fake Captain Grizzly, who is, given the level and everything, probably Auntie Ethel. Sleep with one eye open tonight. I've been in your basement. Why does it look like the lair of a hag? You what? Oh. Well, aren't you the shittiest little spoil spoil? Guess there's no point in wearing this old thing anymore. Hello, Petal. Miss me? The hells are you doing here? Marina ran off with the child I was promised. Because of you. So I had to find myself a new one. And little Vanra was so very tasty. <laughs> That's so evil, even I'm impressed. Looks at her stomach. I'm already showing. Doesn't it suit me so well? Venra sits in my belly, growing fat with power. In time, I'll vomit her up and have myself a fresh young hag to train. Ah. Uh, Fortunately, that 
leaves me in a pickle. For while I love to rip your guts out, I shouldn't. Exertion is bad for the baby, you know. So, walk away. Walk away and let me a fine hag make. Evil J. Brian with 100 bits saying, Miss me? With every magic spell so far, apparently. No, surrender the child immediately. Or what? You kill me, touch me, and the girl dies. And I'll simply return. Stronger than ever. <laughs> A woman in my condition should be relaxing in the bath, not dealing with this nonsense. I'll leave you to my crew, matey. And should you somehow survive, stay away, or Vanra will suffer. I gotta plug in me phone. Oh, for God's sake, it's these stupid things again! Well, I'm gonna have to save the patrons, so... Oh, and Astarian is stuck behind all of them, eh? This. All right. I'm gonna save haste for when I fight Auntie Ethel. Alright, Karlak. It's go time. Got plenty of rages, though, so... We're good to go there. Want another? Have you? Well, you'll be gone then. All too soon. Um. Oh, I. <laughs> well, there was that. <laughs> Cancel the end turn and come back this way. You might not be able to move very far, Astarian, but at least come back in a bit here. For I have plans with the things that are coming this way. All of them. All right, um, you. We're gonna need a little bit of advantage here. Cast ye your guiding bolt. All right, uh, let's get, um, second level cloud of daggers is good enough. So long as I'm not hitting a Starian with it. Just bloodlusting each other. Jesus Christ! I got a dash to get in here. Open wounds. Uh, that's not that much damage. Na 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 na
no, 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 Don't be using that quite yet. Hey, big man. I did it. I knocked them out. Ah, hey, Jim. Let me go ahead and just toss a little firebolt over this way. Over to Jim. All right. I want to cancel these end turns because I need to. I need to uh, to make sure. Oh, for goodness' sake! I'm gonna try to move them sort of like out of the way here and force them force them to uh, to run through the. Uh, the cloud of daggers in order to be able to get to me. My turn. Soldier. Depending on where they go. Well, we'll see. Ready for another round. Oh, I can catch my breath. Here they come. Ow! Oh! Well, no, actually, that's a, that's pretty good positioning for me, actually. Ow! Because at the very least... Yes, Karlak, it is go time, because I need you... Path is interrupted. How are they able to hit me then? I ask you, I implore you. Oops, uh Okay, something's something's going on here. Throw that. Path is interrupted. Stupid blinds. Throw that. How is the path interrupted there? Oh, it's too high. Where do I go from here? You can do it. Can you feel death's cold grip? Can you feel the sunshine as it brightens up your day? Think of all the good times, there's no need to run away. Na na da na da na, forget about the rain. Can't believe I missed that, this is such a pain. Can you feel it? Whoa! Can you feel it? Whoa! What that? Why? Yes! Do that! How is the path interrupted? It's... It's fine! Oh, it's gotta make contact with something! Son of a biscuit! Is the path interrupted? Well, okay. So much for peace. I, forever, pal. I, ju I just need to move over here real quick. Good idea, 
Oh, well, I killed that. Well, it doesn't matter that I killed that one. Ooh, but I killed that guy. Yikes. Sitting, sitting, bleeding. God, it's hot in here. Okay. The Weasel Adams. He was within spitting distance. Again. I was hoping she'd found some remote bog to rot in. Are you right? Best be on my way. I'm fine, Dad. What about you? Don't find me. What were those monsters? If there is so much as a scratch on you, I'm going to ruin Grizzly. Dad, breathe. I'm all right. And you, thank you for stopping those, whatever they were. You're welcome. I did kill a man. I'm thinking, yeah, Astarian definitely needs the short rest. Back to the cellar! Actually, hmm, actually, you know what? If I can find the Hag support group, because worlds are aligning right now, also Blunder Bob should be Blunder dead. Um, uh, uh, Karlak, Blunder Bob, could you mind, um, uh, how are these, how are the paths interrupted? Throw? From there? There we go, there we go. Okay, 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 okay. I want to return to Laura's house. Let's leave here for now, make our way to Laura's home. Wherever that may be, I'm heading west, I need to head east. What the f- What the hell?! Hot, hot, hot! Just Did you see that? One Incredible. Old beast. That's all why I'm sorry, Nick. Fire in the- Oh! Myself. What are the chances? It's you! And ah, uh, the heart stopping- Oh god, it's her again! Ever since our last liaison, I haven't been able to get you out of my mind. <laughs> Nor have I, no matter how hard I try. Forgive the mess. Your blood is far more volatile than I'd anticipated. Our blood caused that explosion? It's a breakthrough in the sanguine arts, the likes of which the world has never seen. The Grand Matriarch will have no choice but to restore House Oblodra after I present her with my research. But listen to me, rabbiting- She has blood in her last name! The prize bleeder on my very doorstep. If you'd come inside, 
We could discuss something far more exciting than drow politics. <sighs> Why not? Yes. That is, do follow me. I have a lot on my mind and, well, in it. Blood of the Covenant. Jeez, say Jesus, woman. Wait, didn't you want me to come down? Where is she going? You made it! Breathe deep and move. Ma'am? Did you not wish to speak? Thievery has been noticed. Choose your next move carefully. Uh, try to talk uh, your way out of the situation. Uh, excuse me, someone of my rank won't be disturbed by someone like you. I've got deception expertise, you see. I'd have to roll a one to lose out on it. Hey, stop chewing on your leg. You'll walk free for now. But All right, ma'am. What do you mean, not now? Oh, I'm just gonna go into the basement. Okay, you invited me down. I'm going to the basement. Let's see what you're hiding. The Sanguine Laboratory. Silk glands, a beholder iris. I was gonna say there's 100% a trap there. Did she? She broke the line. She broke the line, but nothing happened? Ah! A gas pit, a beholder eye, good lord. I think about where my eye is itching. Purple worm poison? Is that what that tripwire triggered? How the hell did she get this much purple worm poison? Be careful. There are traps about. Or are the gas pits producing the poison? How much damage does this do? It is producing that. All right, what did this do? 1d10 poison damage. Hurry now, hurry, quickly, quickly! That wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I've got to take another break because I've got a dog whining at me again. Plus, I also have to use the bathroom. Be right back. Interesting. I never knew that. Artificial leech. Uh, a heavy chest. How delicious. Lock. How for a skeleton key. Oh, for a skeleton key. Uh, alchemist fire, go. Quick rummage. The old has got nothing. Acorn truffle. Ooh, mind flare parasite specimen. Don't mind if I do. A starion. Creature suffers falling damage because, uh, creature is suffering falling damage taken uh, because of your action taking additional 1d8 psychic damage. 
charm an enemy that attacks you, preventing them from attacking you until the end of their next turn. I think I'll do transfuse health. Just so I can unlock as much as possible. Should have worn better boots. A breakthrough at last. Sample of blood that adventurer gave me was a rare find. It is hot, ready, uh, unyielding. After spinning it for an hour, it didn't separate. After boiling it and recondensing it, it reformed exactly the same as it was. I think its droplets will be, uh, will be willing to attach themselves to even the trickiest of substances. Liquid gold, sal, sulfur, and mercury, hair, chalk, and clay. It will make a special brew able to adapt to any elemental quality, but which to choose? Starion. Did you go ahead and unlock this door, Astarian? Does this count as adventuring? Wait a minute. Don't mind if I do. I can't really see very well. There's a giant spider. These boots were made for walking. At least the ash can be repurposed. Some of it, at least. Moving ahead. Moving right along. Ma'am. Oh, my silk. What? What are the chances? It's you. We, we've. And ah, uh, the. <laughs> Forgive the mess. Your blood is far more volatile. I knew my blood was potent, but I didn't know it could do that. It's a break. But listen to me. If you'd come inside. <sighs> Why not? Yes. Okay. I managed to reset this this little encounter here. God, what a mess. Where is she going? Ah, a cozy little. And now that you're here, the- I trust you haven't forgotten what happened when I drank something she offered. This formula won't be any kinder to you. Formula Gruna? Well, yes. Formulae Arku through Fruag were spectacular failures. But Gruna... Gruna is different. Believe me. Da, na, na, na. What will this formula do? When you first entered this home, you saw the incredible latent power within your blood exposed in all its nuances. Formula Gruner will unleash that power within you. Risky, but, um, safe. Wow, she's so convincing! A potion that makes you explode. Seems a bit drastic. <laughs> Gale! All right, hand it over. Oh, marvelous. I've never been so excited for anything in all my days. Just stand over there, far over there, and drink up. I received a mysterious potion. It does what? It just does 1d4 slashing damage! You were witnessed assaulting someone. You're what?! Someone cast a spell on me! They're the ones you should be hunting down! You're free to go. Where- wait, where is she? Where did she go? I can hear her! There she is! Oh my, this is incredible! I'm seeing stars! If that's all it took to kill me, I would have died a long time ago. My friend, I had no such intention. You don't know what this means to me, to my research. You are the world's first 
detonative exsanguinator. To put it simply, from this day on, your blood goes boom. Big boom. <laughs> it's incredible. So wait. All it needs is a spark. So... Oh. Is this going to kill me? Certainly not. But it might do damage to anyone who makes you bleed without your express permission. So? And naturally, I always ask first. I'm civilized, unlike you. <laughs> there are other necks available for biting, of course. If you were so inclined. Tom, you can kill your character, throw their body all over the ground, and cause massive chain explosions. Incredible. Seems quite powerful. Thank you. I assure you, the pleasure is entirely, entirely mine. This research will skyrocket House of Blodra back to the forefront of drow scientific thought. Indeed, it could protect my line for generations. Now, let me offer you a little treat. In exchange for the teensiest vial of your marvelous blood, I'll give you something that'll really throw your enemies for a loop. God damn it! I'll only ask a nominal fee in exchange. You want my blood and money? It's a deal! You really are a fine collaborator. Oh, I've sold a bunch of stuff to her already. Add my wares to the author. True love's embrace. Ring of truthfulness. I'm never going to use that. Staff of arcane, arcane blessing. I should get rid of this. I'm never going to use it again. Got to empty things out here. A whispering mask. Who has that? Shart has that. Viridian crystal. Fire. Uh. Excuse me. Fire Amber. A ruby ring. Got so many scrolls I have no intention on using. How much for all of them? 6,000! Maybe I should take a few of those back. Like the rare ones. Circle of Death. Uh, the $1,500 of Disintegrates, the Hold Monsters, the Auto's Irresistible Dances. Oh, wait, I could actually sell a couple of those. Give you Dimension Door. Let's give you Speak with Dead, since I could do that at will anyway. Uh, give that to Astarian. Don't know how I ended up with that. A Silver Necklace. Ah. Uh... uh Balance offer, give me, give me money. Corrosive flint, yeah, okay, I've sold a bunch of stuff to her already. Which is why she has a lot of the stuff. Purple worm toxin, a fragrant fungus stew. Butter. Until next time. And, and I receive more money. For giving her my blood. Right, what was I doing before this? Uh... Uh, yes! The person who tried to gaslight me out of, uh... Hey Tom, want a funny tip? Is it the one where I kill myself and explode everywhere? So I just explode now. Have you found her? My daughter? Uh, a hag took her. I saw it with my own eyes. A hag has her. God's above. Does a hack want with Vanra? My poor child. Exploding blood in a barbarian <laughs> seems awesome. You have to save her. I have no one else. Please help my little girl. Please. Tell me that hag didn't hurt me. I'm working baby. on a way to save her. Don't worry. Please. You walked in. But wait until I can do. All right. I wonder if I could find the hag. Recover- Yes, the Hag Survivors. Old Garlo's place. I need to go south. Oh, 
Old Garlo's place. Yeah, no, I'll, t I'll take the hit. Hint on, uh, on that. <laughs> These boots were made for booting. Uh, if you cast, if you max out affinity with a shopkeeper, you can cast Feign Death and steal all their stuff. Best part, they'll buy their stolen stock off you for a markup. That's funny. Also seems like a pain in the butt considering that, the, like, so basically you're just getting all your money and their gold. Or all, all, all their gold and their merchandise at the same time. Hello? Someone laughing. An intruder. These people are under my protection. I'll not let you harm them. Hearken to my words, wicked creature. Return to the pit of evil from whence you came. I will eat your souls. I'm the met metaphysical Tom. Nice to meet you. Don't listen. Who knows what spells it weaves around us? Quickly, cleric. Helm. Protector of all, grant me the power to ignite this creature's flesh and burn its bones to ash. Be gone, monster. Your hag mother holds no power here. We're on the same side, trying to find a way to kill Auntie Ethel. Clyde smells no lie. Then you speak truth. You fought a hag before. At ease, everyone. We may have found ourselves an ally. Forgive the welcome. But we're being hunted by a hag. The vicious Ethel herself. We feared you, her minion. She's already hexed one of us. And any of us could be next. You've dealt with Ethel? I'm I'm shocked you're alive. Not myself. But our leader, Mayrina, has. You see, all of us here have fallen victim to a hag's vicious ways. But instead of succumbing to despair, we rose above it. Mayrina showed us how to stand on our own two feet. How to fight back. Then Ethel found us. She hexed Mayrina in recompense. And everything we've done to try and lift it has been for naught. Marina, I know her. I saved her and her child. You're the one that saved her. The one that ventured to the depths of Ethel's lair. I can hardly believe it. You look so... Normal. The bald dragonborn She's is killing this. me. But be warned. She's not as you remember her. Did I bring back her husband? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I did. I hear giggling coming from upstairs. I'm assuming that's her. Yep, there he is. Oh, hey, Marina. Oh, that's... Wait, hold on. Do I have... I don't have to speak with animal. I don't think I have any animal speaking potions either. A voodoo doll. God, I wish I did. Marina, do you remember me? Uh, I've I've got you know I got, I got let's let's get I got, I got, I got ways about this. I can do this. We got advantage. We, got, we can do this. See, I can handle animal. Marina blinks in rapid succession, clearly trying to tell you something. What is it? Is she leading me somewhere?
<laughs> Hoof trot and diary. It's page starts for written an elegant cursive, but soon just dissolves into a scrawling mess. I dreamed of Ethel again. She laughed, mouthful of my guts, as she ripped my baby from my stomach with her teeth. I screamed and so did the babe, but then it changed into a doll. A horrible looking thing. I woke up freezing cold, but burning hot. Will I ever escape the goddamn witch? I saw the doll again, but it was no dream. Cled was telling me about a nice cloud he saw outside while I spotted it over his shoulder, staring at me. I screamed, and poor Cled started screaming too, so I lied and said I saw a mouse. I think I just need to sleep. The doll, it's everywhere. I tried to warn the others, but I can't speak, can't walk, my fingers stiffen as I write. Adrian, get... Hey, Connor. Uh, no traps, please. Maybe I need more pockets. There's the voodoo doll. A strange looking doll. Well, I have the voodoo doll. I think. Did I pick it up? Uh, latest. No, I didn't. Where'd the voodoo doll go? Mind control charms! Get your mind control charms here! Oh, there it is. If I can't catch it... Immune to fire damage, huh? Ah! Oh, it resists Radiant. <laughs> what other cantrips do I have? How do you feel about necrotic damage? It resists necrotic. What it doesn't resist... Uh... Rotten floorboards. <laughs> Bad omen. Something suspicious about this doll. <laughs> Not a creepy doll. <laughs> That's just awful. Well, I missed. You removed my hex. Uh, that's annoying. I wanted to play a little longer. Auntie likes her toys broken. She's not going to be happy I had to get my hands dirty. Uh, what about Marina? Your hex, you're behind this? I know you wish to hurt Auntie Ethel. I know the book is here. I will die before I let you touch a hair on her head. The hag charmed you, you don't know what you're saying. Huh. You have no idea how wrong you are. I have worshipped her for decades past. And will for decades more. He summoned a crab? Oh, he summoned a lot of crabs! Summon so many crabs. Damn it, Jotlo! Bloodlust. Creature can attack three times and regains uh uh 3d6 hit points if it lands a killing blow. Good lord. What's the matter, bug? What the matter? I really hope once I get rid of this guy, the crabs go away. Will that be the case? Probably not. 
It would be nice, though. Oh, I get so close, but not close enough. Hopefully I got it. Stabe. Stabe again. The crabs are still here! Did Connor take damage? Are they? They're vulnerable to fire and force. The way that the way that that attack went off, it seems like they're also vulnerable to uh, to electricity. Oh gods! Oh, they're attacking the other members. Thanks. Quite the jam you've gotten yourselves into. That one is dead, right? Okay, good. Is that one threatened? I mean, ideally, I'd want to stab one that's, like, in combat. Is that one dead? I'm having trouble targeting some of these. Let's do it. Ow, that did a lot of damage. Crab. Crab. Oh, sh where's- what am I doing? Poison the crab! She missed! Oh my god. This is- this is going so well. Connor, come on, dude. Who's in greater danger here? Adriel. Is that the- Where's the crab? Where's the enemy crab? Crab blood. Are there- Wait, this is still another crab alive up there. They don't get opportunity attacks either, which is wild to me. Just crit it. Kill the damn crab. That one is still alive. Say bye bye. Jesus Christ. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interest. Marina. I need a quick 
How you doing? That lying, thieving, scaly little shit. Thanks for knifing the bastard. That makes twice you've saved me. I'm starting to think you're my guardian angel. It's good to see you again, Marina. You too. I've come a long way since we last met. Decided I was sick and tired of feeling stupid. Helpless. So I decided I wasn't going to be a victim anymore. This group is made of survivors. People like me who've been hurt by hags. I brought them together to fight back. And it worked. The shitty red cat proves it. Ethel is here. Oh, yeah, she 100% is. Uh... How did she even survive? Ah, now that I can help you with. Mm -hmm. Check the safe in the back. I've done my homework on Hag since we last tangled with Ethel. And take whatever you need. I know it by heart anyway. And that's exactly what I got. Nice. Staff of Interruption. Fifth level counterspell and, and that's about it. I'm going to keep the incandescent one because of the... Yeah, that's actually really good. The safe in the back. Is it in the attic? <laughs> Heavy chest. Nope, that's money. I can't eat these. These are nuts. Or I can't drink these. These are nuts. Climb the ladder. Uh oh, what's uh oh? Where is the safe? Jatlo, what do you got on ya? Ethel's lair key. Potion of superior healing and a note. My darling, Auntie has sent you a little present. A hex doll just for Marina. Use it to scare her and her little cronies off. Or butcher them, I don't care. Just find that book or I'll rip your lo out your lungs and feed them to your brothers. Lots of love, Auntie. Where the heck is the safe? Adriel, you doing all right? This is all my fault. Marina was hexed mere days after the Dragonborn joined us. Why didn't I see it? Hags and their agents are liars and cheaters by nature. That's no excuse. I know what they're like. Yet still, I welcome the Dragonborn with open arms. Marina was right about you. Thank you for saving her when I couldn't. Uh, where? Where's the... Where'd the hobgoblin go? Well, there he is. The dragonborn was Clint's friend. Why? Why would he hurt Lady Marina? <laughs> Marina can be very annoying. He was only pretending to be her friend. It was all a ploy. But Lady Marina was kind to him. To us. Anyone who hurts Lady Marina is Cled's enemy. But anyone who helps her is Cled's friend. Thank you. The longer they treat us like this, uh, I have no idea where this stupid... Wait, there's another journal over here. Helm and Boss Journal. This journal is written in an elegant hand on each page. A gauntlet with staring eyes is carefully drawn. I was lost when I came to the city. A coward. A drunkard. I thought everything that made me worthy had been stripped away by uh, the Annis Hag. Then Marina found me. She helped me remember the tenets I once fought for. Courage. Honor. Duty. She brought me back to Helm. She saved my life. Now my savior, my friend, is in pain. A hag hexter, trapping her in the body of a sheep. It was my job to protect her and the others, and I failed. If she dies, I will not be, lo uh, I will not be long following her. Safe is on the wall. Oh, oh, there it is. Good here, I hope. Ashes? Ooh, Hagsbane. 
Uh, tear stained journal. This book seems part diary, part scientific study. Detailed diagrams of hags from green to anise to dune fill the margins. Its page is written in a harsh, sloping scrawl. Sentences are blurred by what looks like tears. The girl is dead. We were close, so close to perfecting it. Another day and she would have been safe, but we were too late. It was too much for the mother. I found her swinging from the rafters in the morning. Helm, forgive me for not saving her. Forgive me for not saving her child. Two years old and eaten alive by a hag. What is wrong with this world? But it doesn't have to be this way. I'm onto something, I know it. Hags have powerful digestive systems. So what allows them to turn a child into a hag? However, their gut floor is incredibly sensitive to certain alchemical agents. With the right ingredients and Helm on my side, I could theoretically force emes uh, emesis. Emesis? Causing the hag to vomit up the stolen child. I both pray this works and that I'll never have to use it. Detailed instructions follow on how to make what the author calls Hagsbane. Hunter's Guide to Hags. An excerpt from A Hunter's Guide to Hags by a legendary dwarven ranger, Adamine Hartwood. The text uh, in this excerpt has been underlined several times. But the most arrogant of hags from night to bear know that death is a possibility. Such, as such, they won't hesitate to bend the rules of the material plane to escape death's clutches, returning stronger than ever. To do this, hogs use all sorts of things, the common and humble mushroom. By imbuing these spore producing fungi with her essence, she can endlessly revive herself. Neither blade nor bow will do these fungi lasting harm. The very twisted magic that heals the hag defends them. Instead, fire is your ally. Burn the mushrooms to ashes. Wow, I didn't even think they do I was doing that. And your blade will strike the hag's heart true. But warning, Hunter, even in death, a hag is dangerous. Be quick, swift, quick, be swift, and be deadly. All right, I'm going to use my second uh, short rest here. Wow, can you believe it, guys? I'm finally going to use the alchemy, uh, uh, thing here. How do I open the halk Brew, here we go. Uh, is it a poison? Hagsbane. And I need an essence. Uh... I need to go- I need to get my, uh, my alchemical ingredients back from the camp. Cause silly me, I stuffed them in there. The fuck? Alright, um... Pick up. Oh dear, it appears I'm encumbered. Open. Extract. Concocted Hagsbane. <laughs> Any salt and acorn truffle. But I only have one, I only have two acorn truffles, so I can't quite make it yet. Because this bag weighs a metric ton. I'm going to send it back to camp. But I've got the grenade. The holy hag grenade. Perfect. Actually, there's somebody, there's something that's still alive up here. Is it a crab? Bum, 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 Still alive. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 I don't know. Oh, the I've ever like uh, what is it? There's like an old. I wouldn't say it's an old song. I guess it was like showing off like some stuff in like the Source Engine and like turning Wheatley into a crab. Ha ha ha! Wheatley, Wheatley crab. Wheatley Crab, 
ha. Wheatley crab. Wheatley crab. Ha ha ha. Ha <laughs> ha Wheatley crab, 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 crab. Oh, I curse to put my hands on everything. Hey, bosun. Bloody hells, that was some ruckus. I catch you fighting any more drunks, I'll toss you all outside. Even if they did deserve a clatter. I didn't fight drunks, I fought red caps. Uh, red cap? One of them pointy looking fuckers. You know, I thought I saw it. Ah. Magic tickles your senses. Someone or something has tampered with his memory. Sorry, mate. Only red near is my patrons' faces when they've had a few too many. Take it easy, yeah? Mmm. -hmm. You need to leave. Captain Grizzly is a hag. You saw her change too. I tried to gut her, but she, she dug her claws in me and. Uh. His eyes glaze over as the spell takes effect. His memory lost. Ah, uh, here, mate. I know the captain's a bit of a battle axe, but a hag. You're out of line. I d d did he boot me out for that? Okay. I've got an uphill battle ahead of me. Full of throwing grenades, burning mushrooms, and burning deodorant. Force a hag that has consumed a child to disgorge it immediately. The problem is, I wonder if I do that and she... Disgorge. What a, what a, what a phrase. I wonder if I do that and she just tries to kill the child immediately, or try to eat them again. Are they still unconscious? Is that one under the water still alive? Yes. Best be on my way. I don't see her here. Um, something... Something sees me. I thought I... Uh, the stupid eye Volo gave me it doesn't do squat. Slow down. Oh, the big tough hero finally showed up. I told you, Pepper, you can't hurt me without killing little Van Rock. I have your feet, so do the heroic thing. Duh. If she dies, she's taking the child with her. Which is why we're gonna take out all of her spores. We've got we've got a we got a few things we gotta do here. Stage fright, psionic overload, force tunnel, repulsor. Da, na, na. Them. I'm probably gonna have to cutting action dash in order to be able to hit that. Because at the very least, I can hit that. Not enough movement. Dang. I don't want to go too far in, though, because I need to be able to move out of the way. Can't really assassinate a a mushroom though, can ya? Auntie's trickery. Oh, we got more of them. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Shadow Heart the meta and the metaphysical Tom handle uh handle the mushrooms. 
Meanwhile, Karlak is going to handle our, our small issue we have with multiple Auntie Ethels. I don't remember who has the grenade. That's the fake one. My little trick. <laughs> <laughs> Tactical. Uh, I could action surge just to get like, just to try to eliminate them. I think I will do that. Wait. Isn't that the real one then? Oh, yeah, okay. That one is the real one. Can I reach that one with a throw? Nope, just out of range. All right, couple hucks here and there and... <laughs> Nothing clever about it. In fact, you're halfway dead. Good lord, I gotta handle this quickly. Oh, damn it! Oh, if I had known that, that attacking would have given me more movement, I would have done that a little bit better. Oh well. I do need to get rid of these mushrooms. Whatever the farthest distance. Oh, wait. I, oh, I can climb up here and cast it, yeah? Is that what it was trying to get me to do? Yes! Your time has come. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Survival is all that matters. <laughs> what if I, I- it would be so funny if I could wall of fire from here all the way to here. I'm running the risk if I just try to use Firebolt, because I think these heal. Start of, uh, of its turn, the mushroom keeps Auntie Ethel alive, regaining and regains all its hit points unless some effect prevents it from restoring health. So unfortunately, I think I, need, I do need to use a Fireball in order to actually get the full effect uh, as, as much of the... Lysel is still captured, yes. Uh, she's slow to the move. Yeah, she's got a little bit of movement, so we can move her over this way. Time to push my luck again. Ray of Sickness. Cast it at first level. Uh, poisons the target. What's the... It doesn't even tell me what the, what the save is on it. Oh, interesting. She's still... Will it be able to... Let's see. Yeah, the only way I'm doing that is if I jump up here. Is it weak to fire? No, it's just immune to certain things. Less damage than I hoped. At it again, are ye? I wonder if this is worth the cost. Well, one definitely went in this direction, so I'm gonna go ahead and twin haste on Carlac and. Shadow Heart. Then I'm going to quicken. Uh, a fireball. A 
Alternatively, I could just like try to take those two out. Well, that's what I that's kinda what I have Carlac for though. I think taking out the mushroom might be more important though, and I'm pretty sure there's one over here. For some reason it's just still hidden to me. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there are five total. Hang on, let me just check real quick. One, two, three. Yeah, the other one's still hidden. I'm pretty sure it's over there. How much else do I have left? Twelve? I'm gonna move up here real quick. Fuck yes. And turn. I mean, that's the real one. Let's not kid ourselves. Throw. Got it. <laughs> How far could she go? Covered. <laughs> Maybe you need eye surgery. You know that's true. Never underestimate the fact that someone just might need more LASIK. Well, actually, positioning her right here is perfect. Because I could start weakening this mushroom up here and I could still start, uh, I could still throw it uh, at Ethel if I get it weak enough to where it'll, um, it'll, you know, die. Uh, tro. Or the path could be interrupted because I'm in the wrong spot. Son of a biscuit. I don't have enough movement, so all I could really do is deal damage to Auntie Ethel. Wait, did I kill her? I can't keep her down. You cost me, and you had lick shit. Did did I save her? Wait, is she alive? The girl's dead. God damn it! How, f how long ago was this? What time is it now? 11. This was a save at 10 p.m. All right. I'm doing it again. I, I'm just gonna rush through everything. I need to, I need to make my, I, I did, I wasn't thinking, just at all. Ha! <sighs> okay, okay, where am I? Lower city center wall, just go there. Bingo! Okay. Laura's house, blushing mermaid. Uh, hag survivors. Go to the dilapidated house. Zachary, think of the 69 months of tier one. Nice. Lock pick.
Open the door. Hearken to my words, wicked creature. Calm down, I seek no trouble. Helm, protector of all, grant me the power to ignite this creature's flesh and burn its bones to ash. Then you at ease forgive the paranoia. We're uh, why is she hunting you? Because we, you see, thanks only. Marina, I know her. I helped her against all the Ethel. Looking ahead. Hello, Jatlow. Convenient. You showing up like this. You may have the others fooled, but I shall be keeping a close eye on you. Any idea how to remove the hex? If I did, I would not be standing here. Marina's an old friend. I wouldn't hurt her. Then stop wasting. <laughs> the hex magic is strong. Boy, my ring. Can't turn back. Hey, Marina. Watch your back. Just gotta, just gotta do a little, uh, a little doll extermination here. Uh, not a creepy doll. Oh, that's just awful. <laughs> you removed my head. I wanted to play a little longer. Auntie likes her eye. They want to hurt Auntie. They have the book. I please. Oh, I go. All of all of us go before him. I can kill him before he summons the crabs. Go down there and just smack with Carlac. Do the classic Carlac smack. Her iconic Carlac smack. Oh, I forgot to turn non-lethal off as well. Uh, kill him. Oh, Marina! Wait, no, don't. Not you. Right. Metaphysical Tom, talk to Marina. That, lie that makes twice you've saved me. Good to see you again. We trapped a hag to the city. Any leads on the missing girl? Trail. None. The moment I started investigating the missing girl, I felt the hag's eye on me. <laughs> Next thing I was sprouting wool and bleating up a storm. Wait, is this Laura? She said her daughter disappeared at the Blushing Mermaid. That's her. We'll do what we can. Check the safe in the back. Mm. Uh, the safe. Let's have a look. Same as usual. That's good, I guess. Give it to Carlac. She is the thrower. What's hiding here? Good. I might get some sleep if I do. Jat low. Ethel's lair key. A potion of superior healing. The note. Okay. Quick save. Back to the blushing mermaid! <laughs> oh right, I do need to read the book for the recipe. You are 100% right. Read. Read. There we go. I need to go back to camp. Uh, I need to get my, I need to get my, uh, my tools. My tools of the trained. And a pickup. 
Go into here. I open up and extract stuff. Make an essence of swarming toadstool. Or maybe of sylvan stone. Now I can make the hag's bane grenade. Yes! Where's the grenade? Kalak, you must take the grenade! Now we save and head on over to the mermaid! Away! Wherever the mermaid be. The mermaid be over here! Whoops! I just realized something. I'm encumbered. There we are. I'm able to move more freely. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Help me! Help me! Down, down by the river. Down, down. Is this before I came here the first time? Because if so, then that means... Oh my god, it is. Which means I have another chance to save this guy. Help me! I'm actually kind of curious. Throw- where's that grenade? I'm really curious. I'm not- I'm not gonna actually go like this, but I'm very curious if this'll- That's it. Cough her up, hag. No. Stay down. Ah! You cost me a fresh young hag. I'm going to paint the wall with your guts, you little shit stain. And she left. Who, Ray? Well, now we have other issues to tend to. Such as all of this. Make it hurt. Holy cow! I did, I did quite a good there. I swear, I swear I did good. Oh, I left him at one. Whatever, that's something that, that, uh, someone else can deal with. Oh, wait, why haven't I? If I, if I frenzied, I probably would have been able to kill him. Oh, reckless attack. Wait, why am I getting another attack? Wait, did Frenzy reset my attack action? Still breathing, despite everything. Very well. Did I get three attacks with Karlak from that? Oh, so close! My faith will protect me. Down, down, down by the river. Two of you are dead. The rest will not survive. 
And I'm going off. I'm gonna push you over. Top Lydia. Psionic backlashes. Some blood lost all over the cover. Blunderbab. Heating up. That'll be fine. Actually, I think throwing would be better here. Twere I to throw. Twere I to uh, a throw again. Oh, really? But twere I to throw a third time. No more bloodlust. Wanna get a little bit of a slashy slash here, there we go. Two toes, Risha! Damn him and his concentration. How much health does he have left? 15. Take the average as a firebolt and possibly do that pretty dang well. Or I can cast another magic missile. <laughs> I did. God, I get like so close. Just die already. Nah, you don't got blood loss now. He just drop kicked him. I smell blood. Yeah, it's all blood in the air. That's just Maggoty Jim. Don't worry not about him. Stream a Dark Urge run, maybe? Nothing will stand in my way. Um. You know what? Hold on. She's had so much better luck with her her sacred flame than I ha ever had with my spells. You've got to be kidding me! Oh my god, just. Throw a fireball at him, for God's sake. What to do? Lorenzo. Something's on my mind. What word I was not Dad. Hey, buddy, I might want to wake up. Oh, all right. We take our short rest. We head down in there. Oh, the kid, the kid. Vanra. You're Vanra, right? Your mom sent me. Not done yet. Not while the hag still lives and breathes. And save, yes. Are they still unconscious down here? Yes. 
I can't remember if I had a long rest since I fought these guys, and I don't think I have. I've had a long rest since I fought the people in the newspaper. I was really hoping I could sneak around. Oh, Astarian just goes right now. Well, they heal her next turn, so I think all of my strategy is gonna have to be going towards getting rid of the Ethel clones. Getting rid of the Ethel clones and, uh, and... Well, let's see. One, two... Oh, I can see them all. Well, here's the thing. Healing Pearl. At the start of its turn, the mushroom keeps Auntie Ethel alive. Regains all of its hit point. Oh wait, how long? Wait, how long does it take for the Pearl Spore Bell to uh, to? Which one is Ethel? They're all Ethel. You can actually just like this one's the real Ethel. <laughs> so stupid. You first. <laughs> <laughs> I think I do want to just like, cause yeah, I can use it. I can start like using these. Start getting rid of this. Twenty six, so close. Oh, what? I didn't even realize that one was there. Uh, assuming I can get close enough. I go here. And then I throw. Easy. Or that one. I just want to get rid of all these. Wait, let me see if it'll, if it'll do that thing again. I interrupt the attack action with Frenzy. No, and it's still, okay, it didn't give me a third attack like it did last time. At least I'm pretty sure it did. <laughs> Critical miss, but I still dealt damage, so. Actually, if I, well, no, I'm not in the right position to be able to attack that one, so. So much for that. Oh, am I not gonna be able to reach that? Uh-oh. Oh, she just needs a little. Yes. If I wanted my growth thing to pet, it wouldn't be you I'd call. And gobble da gee ba bo da bo ba, gee ba do be, gobble da gee. Get a nice little chunk of damage out there. But which witch is the witch? Only one of the five is revealed. Certainly as I run around, more will be revealed, right? And then that's the real one. Supposedly. Allegedly. Breathe deep and move. I've revealed another one. Just to get rid of them, honestly. Put 
It's very easy. Got it. Oh god, I wish I could do some sort of like a Vernus strike. Because these recover all their HP, if I recall correctly. What do you mean the path is interrupted to this? Really? There's no way I could throw anything at that. Alright, might as well kill her and see what happens. Okay, for now she's down. I- it kills me. Absolutely kills me. Okay. How much damage has this one taken? Got to press on. This is the only other flame spell that she has, so I'm gonna have to do this. Did that actually destroy it? I still see mushrooms kind of growing around there. Okay, th that's what I thought was gonna happen. Although, doesn't that technically count as her? I don't know. On the way. Yeah, because she's in a new initiative, I do have advantage on her. Ben Luck. Okay. Sometimes the only way out is through. Straight through. Okay. If I get this close, can I throw something at it now? Thank goodness. Less than ideal damage, but it does do damage, so. Am I close enough where I can just firebolt this? Thank God. Die. I missed! Hit her, baby, one more time. In fact, no... <laughs> no risks! She had... Ring of Feywild Sparks. While your Sorceress Tides of Chaos feature is active... Do, do I have that? You will always, uh, trigger... Wild Magic Surge when casting spells. I mean, it's not... It's not great. And a Potion of Angelic Slumber. Okay. Have to keep going. I got rid of all of her mushrooms. She's like actually dead dead, right? I made her throw up the child. Presumably these guys aren't under the effects of the masks anymore? Nope, still part of the flock. Let's get going. <laughs> she never did actually explain how she came back. Is there any way I can save the people down here with the masks? I can't take the masks off because it just doesn't work like that. Check them all? 
heal them? Give it a shot, I suppose. Although I think... Oh no, they don't count as enemies anymore. I don't think, anyway. Let's give it a shot. No time to waste. It only affects her. I'll go this way. Never a dull moment. Well, she's, I mean, she's awake. She's still knocked out, though. I can't talk to her, but apparently she's fine. There was only one of those guys I couldn't save. Because I accidentally blew him up. Go to... How? <laughs> Try going to camp and come back. I mean, maybe I gotta perform a long rest before it actually, like, works out. I'm pretty sure I'll just... You should be able to talk to her? I should speak up. Step down a daisy. Talk, loot, attack. I can still... Uh, it's, it's interesting I can loot her. Yeah, she's not... She's not awake. She's still knocked out. Can't really use the help action here. That didn't help. I'm gonna quick save and try taking the mask off. Yeah, she's still alive. I think that means it's safe to take the masks off these guys and they won't die. Uh, oh, the <laughs> I forgot the last was in the water. They're still shown with the masks on, though, is the thing. Even the, even the captain. Let's try a long. Uh, I really didn't use much. Yeah, let's try a long rest. Is Missouri just gone? Damn it! It's really hoping she'd just be in. Uh, in she would just be gone, gone. Auto select. Fully rest. Z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z z all right, are they down here? At this point, they should just be gone. Yeah, they're up! At least those two are up. I think Captain Grizzly went back. Auntie! Where is Auntie? Where is he? Where is my baby? Well, you gotta relax. And then that one, and then the Mask of Terror is just dead. But Captain Grizzly isn't here. Presumably she must have passed us and went back to, uh... Bakto Ark then. More work? Off I go then. Hopefully I'll be able to talk to her now. I imagine having a save file co go across several updates has probably made this a bit wonky. The hag must have worn half my wardrobe. Oh well. More for the fire. Well, if it isn't the hag killer, if you're here to see how I am, don't. My crew has been acting like I'm bloody made from porcelain. <laughs> um this close to kicking in a few teeth, just to show I've still got it. Anything else? Mm. We're still scrubbing this place clean of the hag stink. 
Umberly's tits did she stink? I mean that yeah, there's a um... Time to burn some clothes. If you're here to complain that the booze tastes like piss, I know. Anything else? I didn't fight drunks, I fought red caps. Uh red cap magic Sorry, mate. Wait, how is he still cursed? His faces when they've had a few too many. You his eyes glare. Ah, here, mate. If you're here to complain that the booze tastes like piss, oi. And I didn't lift a finger to save her. It was like I, all I could hear was a voice telling me the captain was safe and well upstairs. <sighs> Gives me the willies just thinking about it. Captain said you're one of us now, so far as I'm concerned, you're part of the crew, mate. Welcome to the maid. Wait, does he actually have a curse on him? No. He's just a normal dude. Welcome back, mate. Okay, so I had to tell him, th so that broke his curse, apparently. I guess, like, th some of the, f the flags here are very wonky. Good lord. Alright, it, it, is it complete, then? Avenge the hag survivors? Oh, I need to tell, yeah. Find dribbles the cl clown, save van- Okay, so let me let me go to the, the hag survivors and say that I, I finished her off once and for all. Although that's still a little bit ambiguous. Let me go to Laura's house first. Oh, right. I still haven't done this yet. Hot, hot, hot. And <coughs> forgive the fire in Brimstone. But if you'd come inside, yes. Blood of the Covenant. Is the floor is the the floor's not out yet? Trust you haven't forgotten. Uh, hand it over. Uh uh, my friend. Formula Gruna stays in the house. Tick tock. I know, I'm trying to. I'm trying to move away from you so I don't explode and assault you like the game thought I did last time. Excuse me, where do you think you're going? I'm. I'm. I'm right here! You'll need to take the potion here. Please. Where is it in my inventory? Latest. All right, it should be adorned in orange on here. The mystery potion. Oh my, this is incredible. I'm seeing all it needs is a certain. There are other necks. Ah, uh, seems quite powerful. Thank you. I'll only ask a nominal fee. It's a deal. You really are a fine collaborator. Sell my wares. Until next time. Bye. Okay. 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 I need to tell the mother that her ch kid is safe. You brought her back. You brought back my sweet, sweet girl. Uh, the hag was my problem to deal with. It was everything. I'll never forget it. Here. A token from the pirate life I left behind. Thank you for being braver than half this city put together. Ooh. We could go for a walk. Duelist's prerogative. It's all right, it's all right, Vanra. We'll stay right here. 
When your offhand is hem empty, you score a critical hit when rolling 19 or more. Moreover, you gain an additional reaction per turn. On a hit with melee weapon, use a reaction to deal necrotic damage equal to your proficiency bonus. Challenge to duel. Uh, challenge an enemy to only attack you, inflicting bleeding on the target. And dueler's enthusiasm. Uh, dueler, dueler's enthusiasm. When you're not dual wielding, you can make an additional attack uh, with the dueler. Amulet of the Wind Rider. Gust of wind and ride the wind's transmutation spell. Transform into a cloud. Oh, it's um, it's uh, misty form or misty whatever it's called. Gaseous form. Uh, let me see this. While your offhand is hem is empty, so not so yeah, so so I can't even wield a shield with that. I can't believe I found another clown piece. I feel like any so really anywhere I go that Orin is like more or less touched, I'm gonna end up finding clown parts. Oh, Marina, you're not gonna believe this. She's dead, isn't she? Ethel is dead. It's been like, it's been a while, Marina, and you still haven't fixed your makeup. Yes, finally. How did you know? Uh, I felt it, I think. It was like a piece of glass had been lodged in my chest and was finally pulled free. And the girl, you saved her, right? Yes, she's traumatized, but alive. You hear that, Connor? Ethel is dead. Oh, you didn't change back. You're still a... a zombie. I thought with Ethel gone... Never mind. I'll... I'll find another way to turn you back. Somehow. Huh? Uh, he's never going to be human again. You have to let him go. You help me take Ethel down. Give yourself time to celebrate. I think I I think she does need to let go. I know. Damn it! I know, Connor. I love you. I've loved you since we were kids, and you picked me bluebells and asked me to the summer fair. But you're gone. And this... thing... isn't you. Not anymore. What are you talking about? Oh my god! The appearing hobgoblin! <laughs> After convincing her to kill him, I can't believe you just killed him. I'm sorry you couldn't save him. Not everyone can be saved. I learned that lesson from Ethel. I just needed you to remind me. <sighs> Here. Thank you for killing Ethel. But I'd like you to go now. I'll be fine. I know I'm stronger than these. I just need some time. She's still prognognant, right? Face semblance amulet. Semblance of Faye, you have advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and uh, charisma saving throws. That's really good. Somebody have an amulet that's more or less pointless. When down, automatically stabilizes at the start of the turn. Whenever you're healed, you restore the maximum number of hit points possible. Uh, her having the ability to be immune. Pregnant. Uh, Shadowheart having the ability to, uh, to have advantage on those checks. I think would be very useful considering she's our designated healer. I still have the Dark Justicia helmet on her. Pregnate. Pregnognant. Investigate Kazador's 
palace. There's still a lot of the city I've yet I've yet to explore. So many quests too. Hmm. Kors. All right. Uh, I'll play for a little while longer. Boulder's Gate. Uh, we're two. We're two. We're two. I think I'll start heading west from here. I think I've decided on your name too. It's after the hero. <laughs> the metaphysical Tom. There's a bridge here. Where does this lead to? Oh yeah, there's still more stuff in the wizard tower. Name the baby Ethel. Oh, the cash house. Oh, good, the saving right in front of here. Well, I have a key. If you need help, sire, just speak to the clerks. Was my build? Um, wild magic sorcerer. Mostly de dealing in damaging spells. Uh, let me see, I think I do have that key. Yeah, Counting House Vault number one key. For the stout and sturdy. I wonder if I could read the accounting books. Hello. Welcome to the counting house. I'm head clerk Mead, honey. How may the fellowship of financiers serve you? Damn it. Probe his thoughts. Might as well, right? Will this one start breaking bones like the stone lord? Hins horned feet. I should have been a baker. Uh. Who is the Stone Lord that has you so worried? The who? The what? All right, fine. A rather large and heavily armed fellow has taken head banker Glitterbeard below. He used that name. He's an unusual sort of customer, but the head banker said he'd handle it, so it's fine. I'm sure we're just fine. I wield magic with the ease of breathing. Perhaps I could help maybe check on your head banker? A one or a two would have failed me that. That would be most unusual, but then so is our visitor. Very well. Show the guards this temporary vault pass, and should my superior ask, keep my name out of it. <laughs> Abracadabra! I'm, uh, I'm now a, uh, a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a permanent vault pass! I don't know if I'm allowed upstairs. There's a guard here. Artillerist Theoda. Too long here. Makes the gods nervous. It doesn't seem like trespassing yet. There we go. That's the issue. Ah, there's the rub. Well, we've encountered the Stone Lord's uh, minions. Talk to the captain. Account holders only from here. Vault pass. Here it is. Right. <clears throat> Descend and know. Upon entering the vaults, you forego the protection of city and church law alike. It which is to say, keep to your own vault and you'll be fine. Oh. But now, I'm able to access... I'm 
able to access my vaults. Or the, rather, the, the vaults that I wasn't supposed to access. Private stash. There's nobody else. Wait, there's nobody else down here. Do they, is there... Uh, is there anything stopping me from doing any of this? From just taking stuff? Hello? I'm confused. Being an open view. Oh, I see. These aren't. A lot of the stuff in here isn't worth much. Sparkling moral character? Me, not that kind of drow. Work, work. Success! Da, 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 da. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, all right, all right, okay, yeah, yeah, all right, all right, okay, yeah, okay. Amulet of Restoration, Elixir of Sea Invisibility. Scroll of Cloud of Daggers, Remedial Potion. Money! Press forward, press forward, press forward, press forward. Double dose. God, I hope the camera goes down at some point. There we go, thank goodness. Ain't going that one. Very well. Hello, cash god. Just need to see your vault pass, please. Uh, here you are. What's in order? Blessed day to you. She be blind in one eye. Traps. I guess they would still be active if... Oh, wait, what? I guess it's about time we entered the vault. The vaults. Seems simple enough. Visitor's log. Bloris Mead Honey. Pocket registry, pass, ba a bank pass, gold coins, Mr. Glitter Beer's Book of Dwarven Dates. Reason for visit, delivery of a large chest of, uh, to the high security vaults. Cynthia Boundprof, Pocket Registry, Stonework Tools, Metalwork Tools, Reason for, for Visit, Critical Fix of Water Leak in High Security Vaults, Danger of Flooding in the Chambers. Note Cynthia wasn't carrying a bank pass, access granted for an urgent patch to prevent more water from reaching the tiles. Racketh Glitterbeard, Pocket Registry, Pocket Registry, Not Declared, Reason for Visit, Give the Stone Lord a Tour of the Lower Vaults. No, Sayer Glitterbeard has requested I step out of the vaults uh, to provide the client's privacy. I didn't realize, I just realized they're giant abacus here. Well, not really giant abacus, but they're abacus here. Abacus cadabracus. Customer notice? Please refrain from entering until a staff member has opened the way for you. Hmm. 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 Mm-hmm. Ah. And there's the rub. With haste. Soldier. Carlac. Yeah, you can. Damn it! <laughs> All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Aha. Uh -huh. There are buttons on the wall. Light on my feet. 
this cause adequate force? I pushed A button. What of the other? That work? Apparently it did. Hamina. Wait, how much? Two hundred fifty. Looks like dollar bills. Opulent chest. Oh, she gonna be mad. Okay. Well, hello. Astarian. <laughs> Easy. Are these vaults? Yeah, they are. Difficult, but not impossible. Looking ahead. Scroll of Auto's Irresistible Dance. Scroll of Disintegrate. A Traveler's Chest. Uh, scrolls. Not very interested. Did I lock somebody in there? Careful, I mind. Lock pick. Wonder if any of these are just like way out of league. We've got plenty of thieves tools. Damn. Oh my god! There we go. Three in a row that were incredibly close. Uh, wine rack. Uh, ith bunk. You think that these would actually be like worth something, but. The best part is that they're just allowing me to take these. Are any of these worth more than one gold? Nope. Someone there. Over there. Yeah, this is like, this is completely above board. It's not red. Usually it's like, dude, you're stealing. Oh my God. Maybe I should go for advantage instead. Or it won't let me, okay. Barely made it. Still breathing, despite everything. Art! Struck match. 45. No, 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 close it. Astarian! I wanted to light the candles and close the door. A crooked Lock pick. I had bonus, I think Cat's Grace would be better. Getting less of a bonus, but I'm able to... I have to roll pretty dang high, though, is the problem. Meow. How long does Cat's Grace last? It's as long as she's concentrating on it, right? Never a dull moment. Until long rest, yeah, so it's as long as she's concentrating on it. Scroll of Revivify and some gold. Uh... Jason, Thamethyst Ring, Gold, and a bar of something or other. Don't touch me. All they left behind were the magic scrolls! Why would they leave those behind? Oh, for a skeleton. Key. Long pick. 
pick. Advantage receiver. All right. What now? A gilded chest. Oh, a fork. Pick up it at a wares. I'm encumbered. I wait. Why do I have all these masks? <laughs> They're gonna think a hag did it. Uh, add to wares. Add to wares. Oh, I still never encumbered. I didn't want to take her potions. Give those to Karlak. There we go. In fact, give the foot to Karlak too. In fact, give the money to Karlak. That'll, uh, that'll, yeah, that'll free up a lot of space on me. Pick up an of wares. Silver tray. A lot of, like, a lot of stuff that we don't. A lot of stuff we don't need to steal. Silver glass. A polished necklace. A bronze goblet. Oh, I do declare it must be my birthday. Oh, and there and even more? <gasps> Interesting. Please wait here. A staff member will retrieve your items. Hmm, but how will they retrieve them? What a day. One must wonder. Let's crack it open. If this is here. It's just money. Hmm. Merely behind. Over here. Is it fake? It is not fake. Wait here and someone will get it for you. Hmm. Perhaps if I move forward, I'll be able to find something. Nope, that's not the case. These vaults seem heavily guarded. Uh, hmm. I'm wondering how mechanically this works. There's two chests in there. Nope, nothing like under the chest. Hmm. Please wait here. Well, many peanuts. Your items. Hey, that was Mr. Trism saying on Thursday I'm going to go on a 10 day trip to visit my grandmother in Florida. I'm going to be cut off from the internet at this time, so please take this as a parting gift. See you all later. Thank you, Trisman. The chests be enchanted to move items through them. Well, the thing is, you can't climb into them as far as I can tell. The fact that there are two chests is very confusing, though. And I and even if I even if I put something in there, I wouldn't be able to tell. On the other side, need to teleport inside, or use gaseous form. Well, you know, didn't I just get a thing that gave me gaseous form from someone's pirating days? Uh. What do you mean I can't get here? Seems like I'd be able to do just that with gaseous form. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. I've, I've got a fly there. That place is just right. I wonder if a Starian will be able to access it. Keep your distance, darling. Does that work? Oh my god, that works! I knew taking advantage of the game's physics. Oh, I should have done this with a Starian instead. Yeah, because I can't open this. Oh, wait, if I take the necklace off and give it to a Starian, would he be able to do it? This character's equipment cannot be changed right now. All right. Dismiss. What a day. It is once per day, but is it once per day per person? Where is why don't I see Gash's form on here? There it is. Nah, it's already been used. Damn. These things have stayed interesting. I keep the the necklace of elemental augmentation. I have a lot on my mind and well, in it. Swift as my feet can carry me. I'll, I, I, I'm done with this for now, but oh, I'll be back. For current door codes, please refer to the head banker's office. Highest security clearance only. Oh, shoot. Well, I've still have the pass, so. All right, well, it's easy to see that each of these are numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like I'm gonna have to sneak into the into the head offices. Oh, I curse to put my hands on everything. Nah. There's a few areas there where and it That just goes out. Wait. Oh, that just goes out to the docks. Okay. Another step forward. My butt. Oh, you sneezy, buddy? Seems like your allergy meds haven't kicked in yet. It'll take a few days, though. Okay, there were a couple other doors that that yeah. There's this one where, that I'm not getting into just because of how close I am to another guy. And there's this one where no one seems to mind me going upstairs as long as I don't go into the door, but there's nobody guarding the door at the top, so. See, now they, now, now they're. Okay, well, we'll see how we're, how, how, how we're going here. Carlac. Hey, good looking. You've been caught lurking around the Sword Coast's most secure bank without permission. The guards are understandably upset. Uh oh. I'll see myself out. You are permitted to pass with your. Huh. <gasps> okay. Let's move. Okay, next time just have one person go. 
That's all we need, just one person to go. Keep your distance, darling. And it's gonna be Astarian, just because of his proclivities for being able to sneak. Plus, I need to unlock these doors. You need to get wise, young one. Pretty alone doesn't last. Simple. I have to do this on my own. Hello. Steal the bank pass. That's my gazette. Hole. Man, my kingdom for having a small my kingdom and have a small character. Counting house accounts number 47. At first glance, it appears to be a standard log accounting house. However, poorly concealed correction reveals that money is being diverted. The logs have been signed off by Glitter Bear, uh, the head banker. Let's see. Here. That's curious. Yeah, but I can't do anything about the hole. This book chronicles the methods Joaquin used to wrest control of her church from the hands of a sinister group called the League of Six Fingered Gentlemen. Rather unsurprisingly, they were mostly financial methods, including bribery, blackmail, careful investment in certain enterprises, the other with uh, the withdrawal of key funds and investors from others. Equally so unsurprising was the effect this had on Joaquin's enemies who declared bankruptcy or opened their veins in their claw-footed bathtubs soon afterwards. Dark. Going. I have a plan. Lies before me. I have a plan, but it'll be a little, uh, little tricky here. Let's have some fun. Okay, I've got this for for ten turns. And if I'm not mistaken, greater invisibility, I can take actions, right? Uh. Okay. Can't get quite past there. Stay low. Swing low. Sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot. No one back home will ever believe this. I'm really strong. It is like this, almost like we missed the merchant's train. Wait, did I notice something? Or is it the hole? Is it still telling me about the hole? Word is he has guild connections. Mm. That means guild gold. Whew! Well, critical success. There's another hole. This one probably leads into the basement. Head banker's office. Flint digger, abridged dwarven history. Rosewood desk, stack of scrolls. Uh, that's a wardrobe. Scroll of banishment. Uh, a private stash key, even though I've already taken all those. A compendium of dwarf history recording the shifting fortunes of clans and kingdoms over centuries. There are pages of dates noting important battles, births, and deaths. One particular 1356 is circled with a note scribbled beneath. Uh, 1356. In this year, Bruinor Battlehammer did face the shadow dragon Shimmergloom, slaying the beast and claiming his rightful place as the eighth king of the Mithril Hall. But where does this hole lead? 
Anything else I can investigate in here? Nope. It seems that that is everything I need to do. Why don't I take my action, or my cut, my cunning action rather, to dash. And get the hell out of here. I think like ending my turn directly in front of somebody. One, three, five, six, right? Link up with everybody. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Best be on my way. One, three, five, six. I have something to I wonder if I need to uh to Coy maiden smile on you. Okay, well, I guess I'm good. They're not gonna get angry at me. when you're down there, right? No Jesus. <laughs> so they're just like, yeah, you can... No one can see or hear anything down there. It's great! Meanwhile... I'm rather curious about how they actually get people in and out of there. Like, on the normal basis. One, three, five, six. One. Three. Five. Six. Oh, that's unique. It leads to a passageway. Wait, cleaning staff note. For direct notice of cleaning staff, no more water to be used on the cleaning floor in front of the main vault. Use press digitation if you must clean there. We can't afford any more lightning mishaps with uh, wet pressure plates. There'll be no more warnings, only uh, dismissals. Bloris Mead Muddy, head, bu head blanker. I'm being told to save. Well, the game's doing it for me, so... Your fussing. Nine fingers had this one made especially. Hello, Marvel. We'll barely slow it down. But the stories. Stories. Tall tales and big names, lad. Don't let them fool you. Elminster the Archmage. Drist the Drow Exile. Heroes have power eye. But not half so much as we do. A little coin into the right purse. A soft word in the right ear. It's not glory that spins these planes, lad. It's gold. See? No. Oh, a mimic. Someone's crawling out of there. There is no gold in here. <laughs> <laughs> if there is one thing Minsk hates more than beasts with bad breath. It is those who are tricksome with the truth. And turnips. 
But you are no turnip. I was gonna say, is that Mad Mercer? Be of comfort in your final moments. Is that the beloved Ranger? Jahira is gonna burst. I'm gonna burst. Oh my gods, Minsk! Step into view or do nothing. Let's see what he does. Enough play, Stone Lord. Oh. Nine fingers set a poor trap, little banker. Let the Absolute's faithful show you how it is done. Now come, Stone Lord. We have the gold, and the Absolute has need of it elsewhere. As you say, Jahira. Ah. Uh. Huh. First they take her friend, then they steal her face. Some people just don't understand boundaries. Okay, well, they saw me. There are a lot of them here. Oh, you're one of them bow boys. I can't get around, right? Cannot harm sanctuary. Cannot. Uh, uh, what? What can I do? Where are? Are anybody? Hello. Of course, the ones I'm closest to can't be. Ah, wait a minute. <laughs> I see. Kind of give you the hint there with, uh... Well, I'm gonna have to level her up as well and get her some actually decent equipment. Very well. Good time for a chat. Hey, Jahira. Yes. Uh, I, uh, we might find Minsk. I have, and while I, the Harpers are the city's best information network. With them out of act, nine fingers keen. A name known and feared throughout the city's underworld. The mysterious Keen runs the guild, which in turn runs every criminal enterprise in the city. Guild? You throw your lot in with you, you, you throw your lot in with thieves. Nine Fingers is much more than a thief. Nothing happens in this city that she doesn't learn of sooner or later. How hospitable she will be to a harper that comes begging to her guild hall. Huh, we will find out. Perhaps I will let you do the talking. Oh, join me. You'll need to free up your ranks a little first. Take shot hearts, place. And she levels up as well. Druid level 10. Circle of the land, okay. Proved wild strike can make two additional attacks after making an arm strike while in wild shape. Wow, damn. Gain a cantrip, uh, t t uh, poison spray, I guess. Access to six level spells. Including one that's just called heal. All of Thorin's Heroes Feast. Uh, fairy fire conjure woodland beating call lightning is really good spike growth uh... Sunbeam Start yourself a nearby at party into oh, yeah, I should probably have her have um Mist form or whatever it's called Gaseous form can she learn gaseous form she could she can do this Surprised she can't do gaseous form. Unless I'm missing it. Uh, 
Moonbeam is really good. I'll get rid of Ice Knife for that. I mean, I don't need all of these, because I, I only have two slots, so... Gaseous form is arcane. That's interesting. Until long rest. Hello. Flaming Sphere. Launch a Flaming Sphere that damages nearby enemies. You can move the smear. S smear? The smear emits a a fruit there. It's a resort work caster. He's Nigel the tiny wizard. Um Man, I'm not sure what to give her. Probably wisdom. Uh, Cotton was ASI. Give her the extra HP. Watch your elders and learn. Uh, Reaper's Embrace. A heavy armor that I haven't sold yet. Same with the plate armor. Sylvan Scimitar and a Scimitar plus one. I mean, she's mostly going to be casting anyway, so... I'm not terribly... wrecked about it. Alright, I think we're, we're good for now. Either way... Definitely need to step into view. <laughs> Your fussing. But the store. I forgot who Minsk was, honestly. Minsk. No gold in here. <sighs> if there is one thing Minsk hates more than beasts with bad breath, <sighs> it is those who are tricksome with the truth and turnips. But you are no It's him! Trip. It's Fire Emblem's Let Crom! Be of comfort in your final moments. <laughs> Meet Minsk. He still seems very much himself to me. Let your hero reveal herself. You Stone Lord. Ha! Huh. Better to call yourself Stonehead! Your false face does not fool my eyes. I will cut until you look like the monster you truly are. Somehow, you are making even less sense than usual. Perhaps I can explain. Jahira! Stone Lord sees through your lies, shapeshifter. Count yourself lucky he cannot stay. Aw, oh, man! Oh, nine fingers set a poor trap, little banker. Let the Absolute's faithful show you how it is done. Now come, Stone Lord. We have the gold. And the Absolute has need of it elsewhere. As you say, Jaira. Shape changers, enough. 
Let us deal with these cultists. Then find out where they are nesting. Oh, this is awkward. Oh, of course they have sanctuary. Can he even get anywhere in order to attack one of these guys? Where is he right now? Few of these I can't see. Plus, we've got the unstoppable ones. Oh, goody, goody gumdrops. Alright. Cunning action to dash. Gotta get rid of those unstoppables. What a waste of a good crit. Am I able to throw far enough to- YES! No! Oh, throwing has failed me so! But, at least I got this! How you doing? You seem well. You seem very well. Throwing stuff at Glitterbeard! <laughs> Invisible! Man, they are really after Jahira. Ooh! Thought I got that. Body blow. <laughs> he is stunned. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Keep getting rid of their unstoppables. Okay, well. Did you really gotta? Fourth level cloud of daggers. I have so many options. I could blight him. I could create a wall of fire from one end to the other. Guaranteed damage is always good. But not if it requires concentration. Move around here and then sunbeam. Actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea. If I move. Hold on. I just gotta make sure that wherever I'm going here, I don't accidentally hit Jahiro with it. Okay. Sunbeam. There we go. Line of one of them. Can I quick? I can quicken that one.
That's absurd! Oh, don't you fool. Father, ease my way. Poochie's slow. Oh my god, that guy is awesome! Oh, slow that guy, okay. Oops. Watch this. Uh they're not dead, but they are prone. Stop making my way this way. Actually, I think this would be a good start. Let's frenzy and we'll action search. Aha! No longer are they slown! I wish I could see where the stupid person was! Who all can I even see? Just her! Well. <laughs> what was that? What was that little th way he said that? You're leaking. Son of a biscuit. Well, at least I know where he is. Oh my god! That's awesome! She'll be fine. I will find you. Did they, did they miss her? Okay, 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 okay. No, I can't go far enough! I could dash and then I could quick and cast that. But they're both right there, man! Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Time to press ahead. Okay, 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 okay. Quicken? And just cast it that way. Yes! <laughs> That's what you get for going invisible after moving, ding dong! Oh, that was so good! Quickly. I'm assuming they're somewhere around here, so if I cast Spike Growth, like, say... in here... Got him! Gotcha, bitch! Oh, you know what? I will use Executioner. Please, please tell me they're within throwing range. Yes, yes, they are. I can't see shit! <laughs> I 
Honestly, I just want to go back to the meta. Please don't kill him. Ah, oh, damn it! I've got a long road ahead. Got a got a long conversation to have with this gentleman here. These ledges are never going to balance. I'm a dead. You can tell Nine Fingers this was not my fault. She swore that mimic could swallow a bloody owl bear. Wait. You're no guild sworn. Who are you? Person to just save your life. A little gratitude wouldn't go amiss. Security consultant, the your vaults leave a little beat desire. Just tell me what happened. Our cunning trap just got flipped ass ways up, is what? Nine fingers wants the Stone Lord dead. With what he cleared from our vaults, he's got enough gold to make himself a lord in truth. And he wouldn't even know what to spend it on. It's the cult that needs that money. Why? He's got a wicked black eye. I think anyone told me. Nine Fingers sent word the Stone Lord was going to try his luck on our vaults. So she told me to cooperate, lure him in. Yes, sir, Stone Lord, sir. Shall we open the account in your name or the absolutes? Just step this way to your special deposit box. Don't mind the teeth. <laughs> no one mentioned he might have some old crone dropping in as backup. You know, crone? Uh, look, I just mean to say we both want him caught. If you've got your sights set on the Stone Lord, anyway. As chairman of the Fellowship of Financiers, I can assure you we'd reward you well for the return of the coin he took. Not for us, you understand. For the common Baldurian. Who knows what he's planning to do with it. How much was taken? I just need to find Misk. I care nothing for coin. Good for you. I happen to care a very great deal. Retrieve the coin, and I'll make sure you are well rewarded. There's treasures greater than gold. Feel free to poke around this place, and it'll help you pick up the Stone Lord's scent. Me, I've got ledgers to amend. Breathe. Breathe. Sunbeam is awesome. Bloody jobs. First time the vault's been breached the entire time I've worked here. Still catching my breath. <laughs> I like Loretta. <laughs> Nothing in the mimic. Detailed record of gold in and out of the various vaults while the individual vaults seem. Oh, Jesus! Such authority. <laughs> Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Uh, while the individual vaults seem to have large amounts of money deposited them and then simply left there, the main vault is a constant stream of gold in and out. Handfuls of coins constantly being added and subtracted. It's a record of working life in Baldur's Gate. A 10 days profit from a trader. A family dipping into their savings to buy bread. Child depositing a coin they got for their birthday. Can't give up now. Murderous cat. What of you? You have a very interesting design, Miss uh, Invoker of Ball Grice. Uh, letter is written very rough, hasty scrawl. Evil J. Brian with 100 bits saying, Hey, Vault Guard, pro tip, spikes hurt. Latest load of barrels didn't arrive. Uh, no word from Kairos, assuming the worst. Can't wait any longer. The plan must go ahead. Use what you have now. Deal with the complications later. Prince from the sewers. We already knew this. Enchanted security. Intricate lock making prevents the knock spell from opening the safe. Oops. It was Thorion. Let's crack it open. This has got to be like. 
30. That's actually lower than I thought it would be, though still absurdly high. Ten. No way. Try again. I'm so close. I can get it. I know I can. So close. Yes. Still alive. So that's progress. Elegant studded leather. It's not even that good. <laughs> what does he even have, Astarian? Because he'd be the only one to be using that. He's got plus three on stealth checks. This gives plus two on initiative rolls, advantage on stealth checks and shield. Yeah, that's actually good. What does that armor look like on him? Oh, well, I, I mean, I like him better in his actual equipment, but that does look pretty, pretty spiffy on him. Yeah! Empty crates, a silver chalice, a gold chalice, a bronze chalice. One day I'll catch a break. I'm gonna speak like to Rakath Glitterbeard. Oh man, there are more vaults. Now you've come to make a lodgment, a city-sized one. Here's the coin that. Wow, I could just give him. I could just give him the money. He lost innocent people's money. The guild lost well some of that cost. <laughs> oh, you're serious? Well, maybe you don't have a head for accounting, but that's not. Quite how numbers work. Uh. Ooh, I have history proficiency. The heist of on many coins bank in Neverwinter. Ring a bell. A lot of people will suffer. Uh, you're not going. Not gonna have much of a head for numbers if I crack it open. I like the the history one. Except. Well, I got tied to chaos. So let's go. Whoa, that was close. Aye. The head banker was beaten to death by a mob on the rumor she'd taken a cut from the robbers. You wouldn't stoop to spreading rumors now, would you? Fine. I'll pull in some debts with other guild kingpins. I can cover maybe half of what's lost, but I need something back. Understand. You'll get nothing and like it. Here's the coin. And not even a whisker light. God, you're a boring bastard. What do you mean not even a whisker light? I got half off of it. I suppose, because I'm not even tempted to scam you. Take this vault key. You'll find something by way of thanks inside. Is that vault? Is that vault key number nine? Wait, wait, I just received half of that back! What did he give me? Number D- <laughs> My god, alright, I, I wanna... Actually, maybe for the time being, just because... I should have- I should replace... Carlac with Shadowheart for the time being. Minsk. He seemed to believe that doppelganger was truly Jahira. A sure sign he's being manipulated. Uh, join me. I'd join you, but things are looking at Take Carlac's place. Fun. Let's move. Uh, step outside. Step into the green tour. Alright. Lock. Pick. Cat's Grace. Guidance. Natural 20! Uh, Nymph Cloak. Dominate Person. 
Good to have. Spell Savant, gain additional level 2 spell slot. I'll pick up, I'll pick this up and add to wares and uh, thieve with that. Lock pick! Yeah. Ha, sucker! Anyway, here's half your gold back. Fart. Just breathe. Breathe. Exactly what I needed. A new hat! Janeth's hat. Advantage on perception, uh, persuasion and deception checks. Perfumed days, passionate nights. Several necklaces. Pick up an edge of wares. Uh, let's, you know, let's give that to the metaphysical Tom. I'll take the gold. He doesn't seem to mind that I'm doing this. And I'm perfectly okay with doing this, so, you know. I guess everybody wins. Son of a biscuit. I'm quick loading that. If only because I didn't have guidance cast. Not gonna read the steamy romance novel? Uh, you think I should? Is it like, uh, is it like the lusty Argonian maid? Down, down, down. Down, 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 down. Certainly. Mom used to tell me about Minskull Rashomon. Uh, a lavender scented diary of florid prose that describes Lady Wisteria Janet's brief but torrid affair with a young scrape, uh, scapegrace named Enver Gorta. Oh my god. A typical excerpt reads as below. When he held me in his burly yet tender arms, it was as if the years melted away and I was once again reigning debutante of the upper city soirees and uh, cotillions. What matter if the diamond ring I gifted him, heirloom, of the Janus for generations was more than the value of the mansion? It looked so well glittering on his long, strong fingers, and his uh, glowing smile as he slipped it on was worth more than a dozen mansions. That's good. Oh. Oh. So hot, so steamy. Biscuits. And the sons of them. There we go. Uh, the long arm of Gur, Revenant Scourge. When used against an undead, this uh has a 1d4 bonus to attack and damage rolls, and has a plus two enchantment. It's worth a lot, but it's nowhere near the Hellfire hand crossbow, so we're just gonna add all those to wares. Alright, listen, could you not just like rob the entire place? I got I've got some stuff that I need to keep up here. Natural 20! Knock knuckle gloves! Allows me to cast knock! A heavy chest, a ball, a training shield, uh, a practice sword, a stuffed bear, a toy bl and four toy blocks. Knock knock his knuckles. Actually, I probably should take those gloves. Oh, you security vault. <laughs> Pick it up and add it to ways. <laughs> Curses. Oh, twenty nine. Knock, knock, I've knocked down your door. Your door has been knocked down a peg or two or three. Or five, or eight. Knock, knock, it's knuckles. Give the stuffed bear to Carl, I should love that. I hate it here. I want to, what is happening with the camera? I want to go to Build-A-Bear. With pleasure. With pleasure he'd take me to Build-A-Bear. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Yeah. 
I demand the ability to rob the bank. They don't even seem to care. Why are none of these vaults red? Is it just that it's like, oh, well, if you can break into these, then more power to you. You'd also think, I actually kind of, I'm kind of wondering if the head banker has like a master key. Oh, now I'm really curious. Where is he? Moving. I'm really curious if I could just like pick his pocket. Just like oh man. And I'm able to hide success. Wow. Subtle steps. Turn base mode. Let's go. Uh, cutting action, hide. Pick his pocket. He does not have a master key. Damn it! Eighteen to pick. Good lord. Still breathing. Despite everything. If he had a master key to the vaults, that'd be nuts. But they don't care that I'm robbing this place blind anyway, so. Last. Blast. Damn it. D Damn it. Wow, this vault is very stubborn. Actually. What's the limitation of casting knock? <laughs> I could just use it now and almost seven hours. Yeah, I love this game so much. Actually, where, yeah, where are those gloves? Invalid target. Held shut by a mundane lock. Okay. It makes sense. Add to wares. It is more than mundane. Guide my hand! Damn it! Guide my Yes! My hand has been guided! Uh, Patriar blackmail files. This is a thick notebook containing the background dossiers and all leading Patriar families in Baldur's Gate cross index to show the web of business arrangements and intermarriages between them. Typical entry as follows. Hi, family, uh, uh, Arivistes. Relatively speaking, real estate money, upper and lower city, owns Elfsong Tavern, singing Loot, Stormshore Row, and is a silent partner with minority stake in the Blushing Mermaid. Head of family is nominally the elderly Lord, uh, Orthogon Hlath, but in practice, all decisions are made by his business-savvy daughter, Matron Marigold. Exploitable vulnerability. Favorite grandniece, Holiday Hlath, heir to Lord Orth uh, Orthogon, is insatiable gambler and so substantial debt in dicing halls uh, from Stone Stoneyees to uh, so Sow's Foot. Skeletons in the Patriarch's Closet. Valuation assessment of Patriarch dossiers compiled confidently by Ser Uktar, Guild Burser. See Mother Superior, this peerless collection is clearly the fruit of many years of intelligence work and speaking professionally, I found reviewing it to be personally rewarding. It would also be financially rewarding if, at need, the Cloister chose to sell to the highest bidder on the Black... on the Gate's Black Market. In such an event, I recommend offering it to Nine Fingers Keen at the Guild, of course to Edvard Needle at Baldur's Mouth, and to Blaze Liara Portier at the Flaming Fist. Get your best price. Mention that each, uh, that you're offering it to the others. If your situation becomes urgent, any of these will gladly be these dossiers outright for several thousand gold, but you get more in auction. Is it actually worth that much? Nope. It's just worth how much it's, pr how much it's, uh, printed on. Add to wares. One step at a time. Any dex buffs you can you can give him? Not not in my inventory right now, no. Because I think his dex is already like pretty maxed out as it is. Character sheet. Oh, actually, technically, I could give him the uh, the 
What gloves do you have right now? Uh, plus one to initiative rolls. Actually, yeah, if I give him the gloves of dexterity, I can give him uh, an additional bonus to that for the time being. Knock pick. It does become just a touch better. Nat 20! Wait, what? Oh, it's <laughs> he's getting angry at me for <laughs> He's only just noticed Astral Prism Height Heist. Uh Gortash's private me memoir notes number 16. After the dream I had about the Githyanki threat to our accelerated grand design, my research led me to pour through the old archives left behind by Moonrise Tower by the High Heralds. These records included some surprising early sources, both Githyanki and Giz Githzerai that mentioned a relic or artifact called the Astral Prison or Prism. Though the source of its power is uns unstated, this artifact was re uh, reputed to be able to project a field that would disrupt illithid psionics. Uh, such an artifact would clearly be an existential threat to both our absolute ambition and the grand design. All three of the ancient sources agreed that the Astral Prism was in the hands of the Githyanki Lich Queen Vlacketh. Thus was born the plan to send a tadpole strike team in a regrown nautiloid piloted by the Emperor to steal the Astral Prism from Vlacketh. Interesting. To take control. Gortash's private memoir notes number nine. Just breathe. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, to take control, we were deep in Mephisto's vault, burgling the crown of Carthus when I saw next to the crown that the wily archdevil had a portfolio labeled Accelerated Grand Design. I couldn't resist taking- interesting! Couldn't resist taking that as well. The portfolio contained plans compiled by a mad Aloon known as- known only as Blue Apex for a version of the Illithid resur Resurgence, a grand design that called for mass tadpoling both friends and enemies, but not to convert the tadpoles into mind flares, but rather to suspend that seramorphosis under powerful magic to create a vast unconscious hive mind commanded by an enhanced elder brain. My mind, trained in the tyrannical tenets of Bane, instantly saw that this was a means to perpetrate a powerful religious hoax, a mass movement controlled ultimately by none other than myself, for who but the Chosen of Bane can master a, gr a, 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 a so grand a scheme. Steward interrogation log, scroll, wait what? Scroll or letter? Transcript of a key passage in the interrogation of Flovis Nugay, or Nuge, steward of the Knights of the Shield Hall. Black Hand, when did you begin to suspect Duke Stalemane was not herself? Nuge, I cleared her dinner dishes after a meal of mutton pie, but when I got the dish to the kitchen, the mutton was brains. Brains? And not sheep brains either, so I started poking around. In the Elfsong cellar? In the night's secret chambers, yes. Found a cell within the, uh, with uh, a body and a corpse of the city prison stripes. A dead state prisoner? If I tell you about this, you're going to let me go, right? Right. It was a condemned criminal with the top of their head shattered and the brain mostly gone. In Stelmane's room. The secret part, yes, that's where she found me. She what? Found me. It found me. First I thought she was, uh, blue and floating, and- but then it was just Stelmane. She smiled. I don't remember anything after that. A gold ingot and some gold, and a tadpole. What was that? Number- number six. I thought I was gonna say lucky number- uh, was that vault lucky number seven? I'm a dead man. Lockpick. Saving. Last. I believe this is my last, uh, yeah, my last inspiration. But I'm only, shoot, I'm only two away. Hey, Astarian, got another gummy worm. Uh, there probably is some kind of, like, bonus or, like, or consequence for filling up your brain entirely with those parasites. I think Manatee's ready for bed. He is sitting in front of the uh, in front of the open door, I might add. Blast. Once I'm done with these vaults, I'll I'll end the stream. Nat 20, let's go. Another, is it? Just uh, good on you, mate. Breathe. Raven Guard Breathe. Scourger. Commander Strike. Ooh. Commander Strike. Direct an ally to strike a foe. Use an ally. Uh, the ally uses the reaction to, to take their next turn 
Wait, the ally uses a reaction on their next turn to make a weapon attack. Interesting. Father's Diary. This is a worn and much handled journal in which older Ravengard recorded his favorite memories with his beloved son, Will. A typical entry follows. Fifteen flame rule. Spent the afternoon with Will on, on the docks by the Water Queen's house. Relaxing on the planks, though the harbor fog swallows the sun as usual. Will asked if the temple wave servants were really mermaids. I told him they certainly looked the part, but real mermaids could breathe underwater and rarely show their faces above it. Then I'm going to swim down and catch one, he shouted, and dove off the end of the dock. Kept trying to hold his breath and stand to the surface, but eventually got exhausted and I had to uh, haul him out. Minus his new shoes, alas. But I'll never forget the smile he said, I saw one, father, I saw a mermaid, a real mermaid. Then his eyes grew misty uh, and he said, she was beautiful. Giving that to Will. I'm also giving his, uh, his dad's mace, uh, Will's dad's mace to Will. Pick. Easy. You unlock the Mind Flare class. Nope. That's a big nopers right there. All of the nopes. Nopopotamus. Lucky it didn't drag him to the bottom of the ocean. I love how just like in the background you just hear the sound of tumbling locks. I like how I convinced him to, like, cover half the bill of the missing money. And then I just end up stealing everything from the vaults anyway. Nat 20, let's go. Several necklaces and the Trident of Waves. Watercaller on a hit create a two meter surface of water centered around the target. Holy cow. So, if I still had all that stuff that, that like, did, like, electrical damage and everything like that, then this would be really good. <laughs> Alas, I think it is better to just pick it up and add it to wares. Funny money in the air, never a dull moment. Swift as my feet can carry. He really doesn't care, does he? I mean, he does care, but he's like just exasperated at this point. Wait, can you fill a closed room? No, it's just like it just creates a puddle. It creates a two-meter puddle under what you hit. Oh right, uh, Astarian. Wait, didn't I already? Oh, you know what? I guess I didn't, um, I guess when I kind of went back in time there, I didn't, like, actually look through everything. Yeah, because there were a couple places where I could have gotten, um, tadpoles, and I, I just, like, I forgot about them completely. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Well, now there's, like, there's only one thing left for me to do. Well, actually, the problem is that I end up stuck in there and I'd have to use... Well, actually, hold on. Where's that pendant I have? Not that one. I haven't done a long rest since then, so that's practically worthless. But I do have that one pendant. Yes, the spell slot restoration thing. Has she used a sixth level spell slot yet? This ought to be good. No. Oakfather, east the road. So I can at least get four of these. Uh, actually, there's a lot of them in one go. Oh, I'm gonna clear out this bank. Okay, um... Windwalk. Oh, I don't want everybody in here. I can't tell who's who. Wits and blades always sharp. No time to rest. How delicious. No, Jahira, you need to leave. No one back home will ever believe this. Careful, I'm back. Okay, now are they close enough to provide the bonus? Your servant awaits. My faith will guide me. Oh my goodness. Let 
Let's try All right. At your command, I hope I can be close enough for, for guidance to work. A crooked Lock touch. pick. I wonder if these ones might actually be... Yeah, these ones are easier because of the... Uh... I can't believe I rolled a net 20 there. These ones are easier because they're already behind stuff. Gold. Uh, all right. Add to wares, add to wares. <gasps> I'll say, I'll say add to wares. All right. Not pick. 25. Ooh, great X plus two. Short sword plus two, and there's a helmet in there, but I can't see what it do. Uh, Triumphal Helm. It just gives plus the constitution. Okay. And this is just a plus two great axe. Yeah. A touch disappointing. Open it, Astarian. Uh... Elixir of Battle Mage's power, a pouch. Let me see what's in the pouch. Uh, several alchemical ingredients, some elixirs. Pick up. Give that to the metaphysical Tom. Grab that. Buddy, what? What's up? Hi. Hello there, baby boy. Hello there, baby boy. What's the matter? I may need to cut this short and, and get to the rest of the vaults next time. So I think I'll do just that. I've got a whining puppy behind me, behind me. A whining, whining puppy behind me. A whining, whining puppy. Let's see if I can dump you guys off somewhere. Who is even live at this ungodly hour? As I, I'm probably gonna pick this up tomorrow, honestly, because I'm, I'm, as you can tell by the seven-hour session I had playing this game, I am rather invested. I'd read Jeremy, but he's not live. What should our raid message be? We're adventuring a bank! We're gonna raid Krendor, give him some of that Tommyest love, and I'll see you guys back here uh, tomorrow for more Baldur's Gate, because I want to play more of this and finish it. Bye!